Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing today? Welcome to the Brawlhalla 2v2 clan battle tournament that we are going to be casting yeah. all day today. <laughs> yeah. All right, this guys. This room is our home. This this room is now our home. We are going to be starting off with a community organized 2v2 clan battle tournament that the community has put together and they asked us to host so we are going to be hosting this and casting it all throughout today we have eight of the top 2v2 clans in Brawlhalla and I know that sounds a little strange because we have 2v2 teams and yeah. a 2v2 yeah, team ladder. No, it's a full clan <laughs> it's a different thing. But the uh, organizer for this tournament Photocon has, elabor has elaborately created a very interesting system for how to turn a typical 2v2 tournament into a clan battle and that yeah. is what we are going to be seeing today. It, it, it's, it sounds really cool. I was reading over the format, and it, it sounds like the rules are specifically geared to test one clan versus another clan. An individual clan cannot take uh, advantage of having a particularly strong team, for example. Like, uh, just two players is not going to cut it. You kind of need to have a, a well-rounded out uh, team exactly. ready to go. So they basically, the rule set says that you can only have one combination of teammates per set. So right. you have to mix up your matchups, you have to rotate all of your players in and out, and it's really designed to kind of prove not just who has the best, you know, two people in two a clan. Two players, like, like the highest tier, like couple players, but yeah. the entire clan has to, and also they have to practice like with a bunch of different people from the clan, because I know a lot of clans may like, you know, me and my buddy here, we're in a clan, we're just going to practice 2v2s all day. You yeah. kind of have to practice with everyone else in the clan to make sure that you're ready uh, you really for do. any circumstance that can can come up here. It was interesting because we had, I think, almost 15 signups for this yeah, yeah. tournament, and the, 15 seating, um, the seating for it was entirely based on the 2v2 ladder on right. which team could get the highest. So, like, all over the last couple of weeks, people have just been going just at swarming to the <laughs> high end 2v2 <laughs> part of our ladder. Yeah, for it. and so um, it's been it's, very busy. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a really interesting tournament. We are starting off today with the seed one versus seed eight battle between. Uh, Boo and Webb. So uh, Boo being the top seed and Webb being the bottom seed, we are starting off with this match and then we are going to be attempting to cover every clan that has entered today. So basically the way during, this... During the first phase, right? Yeah. So during the first phase, it's a complete round robin where every clan has to square off against every other clan <laughs> so that everyone right. fights. Everyone gets a chance to fight <laughs> everyone else. So that is going to be the first stage, and after that we are going to tally up all of the points and the top scorers are going to be moving right. on to a double elimination top four. Yeah, right, right, right. So it's going to be an intense day-long event of Brawlhalla 2 <laughs> 2 action. Oh, it's, gonna, it's going to be you know, great, man. We've done, uh. Uh, we've done some stretches, you know, <laughs> did some vocal warm-ups, we've got water all over the place. The water, so much water. <laughs> so much water. <laughs> All right, it looks like uh, we have some of our first contenders lining up right now. It looks like Boo, not waiting, gonna bring out Exa and Foda for their first match here. Yeah, Exo bring out two very strong players. This is true, Exo and Foda, definitely some of the top contenders in Brawlhalla right now. We gotta give them a little, like, yeah, uh, little heads up ready. to let us know that we're ready. We are gonna be getting underway here, guys, with the first match of today's tournament. Oh, man. And I'm really enjoying this spread of characters that we've yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool. We have Sir Roland, Scarlet, Terrace, and Bryn. Not an Axe on the red team, which is interesting. Axe seems to be a favorite uh, for a lot of teams going into CV2. But we'll Absolutely. see how this works out for them. Gerard Joling on Sir Roland, Kitty on Scarlet, Exo on Taros, and Foda on that Bryn. Here we go. We are starting off in the first match of the tournament. <laughs> Throwing out a friendly taunt. Almost gets punished for that. <laughs> but a good way to start off the tournament. All right, well, we're underway. Let's see how this works out. Kitty and Gerard Joling, the first two contenders from Webb. We're going to see how they go up against Exo and Foda, probably two of the most feared players, they're, one regardless of format. They're pretty good about uh, knowing exactly what their teammate is planning on doing, you know, in the near future, which is so important. Exo, brutal first knockout. That was fast. Here we go, first knockout <laughs> oh, of the match man. in under 30 seconds. That was really fast. Oh, man, Red, Red team, team is looking for revenge now, though. Red Team needs to find some knockouts here pretty soon. Catch up in that stock disadvantage. Yep. Diddy almost getting taken. Oh, the edge guard! I didn't think Exo would be able to get that, but he does. Exo takes his second knockout of the tournament. 
Here we go, guys. It is six to four right now with blue team up by two stocks. Gerard and Kitty so far taking the beating, but we're gonna see if they can get their own knockout here on Apota. Oh no, Kitty almost taking out teammate. No, it doesn't happen. Blue oh, team so goes, there it goes. Kitty. First knockout there for red team, nicely done. Gerard Jolin trying to drop down that signature onto Foda. Foda is in the red. We're going to see just how defensively he ends up playing now that he's low on life. Foda doing a good job of avoiding all of those hits. Pretty much any of those would have sent him flying. Maybe it would have been a knockout, so he needs to be very careful here. Any value he can squeeze out of this first stock is going to be oh, brilliant. But he does get taken out. Double ground pounds, one on each another, side. Yeah, one, one stock taken from each team there. And red team only down by one stock. It could be a lot worse at this point. Well, we're going to see, you know, incredible turnarounds are something that happens on these types of tournaments quite frequently. But again, yeah, Foda and Exo so. largely considered a powerhouse. We'll see if uh, Red Team can't turn it around. Exo looking pretty in the red here. If Red Team can find a signature on that terrace, that would be so huge. Oh, Kitty now just getting juggled Ooh. off the top of the stage by Foda's axe that play. That is rough. Drudge only does land a bomb toss, however, picks himself up a weapon and he's putting down good damage. Oh, so close to getting that signature hit. But no, Exo playing nice footsies and does take that knockout. And now it's just Kitty. This is very difficult. It is now a 2v1. Foda and Exo coming out strong in the first cool, cool. match of the day. Let's see if Kitty can't score an extra knockout or two, but these 2v1 situations are incredibly hard. They we are have seen very difficult. It's Crazy things can happen, but it is very hard, especially when you don't have a weapon and your two teammates are both fully armed. Well, and especially when you play against people who've got such great positioning like Foda yes. and Exo. Oh, Kitty, nice, taking a, a knock oh, another oh, knockout! Another knockout Kitty! Wow! You know, I uh, gotta give it to him. Not giving up nice. without a fight. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> but now he is against two teammates, both in the white, so... We'll have to take quite a bit of damage here to be able to set up for the next knockout. And Kitty putting down huge damage on the lands on Exo, but it doesn't oh, matter. Exo nope. finishes it out. Blue team is victorious. Good job, Boo, in game one of the tournament here, guys. And that is the first match. Foda and Exo taking it over Kitty and Gerard Joling. And we're going to be going on to match number match two. Number two. Now, again, according to the rules, they do have to switch up the mixing and matching yep, right. of the teams. Um, so you see there, Boo bringing out Tybo and Shadow Lords. They cannot use the same players that they had used previously. And this is really interesting too, because I have never seen both of these guys play yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. And both of them have hugely aggressive sword styles. Oh. And seeing Shadow Lords on Hattori. They, they both is... picked, yeah, some aggressive players here. Uh, aggressive heroes, rather. And you know, it's just it's funny because a lot of people have the the Hattori love has fallen off in the top <laughs> competitive scenes. So seeing what Shadow Lords is gonna be able to do with this legend is gonna be yeah, incredibly interesting. And then over on web we've got Addy Mastic and Energy Monster playing Bodvar and Taros respectively, two definite powerhouses and yeah. favorites in the two v two scene. So we'll see uh we'll see if Web can't pull out a victory here as Immediately we Immediately hopping in. Here we go, guys. Hurtling on to game number two. Game number two between Boo and Webb. Now this is best of three, so... Three, yeah, two, if Boo takes one, this match, roll. they will take the series. Or this set. Alright, so here we go. We are on Twilight Grove, Shadow Lords, picking up the first weapon and putting down early damage onto Energy Monster. Quite a bit of damage going onto Blue Team's Bodvar. He's got to dodge the, the juggles, he does. Shadow Lords playing the air game on the spear. <laughs> Red Team's Bovar getting knocked uh, through teammates' attacks. It's oh, oh what my was that? gosh! The signature combination, the setup from Tyler. Red Team, nicely done, takes a knockout pretty early on here. That's just the level of team coordination that you like <laughs> yeah. to see in these matches. Yeah, Part of totally. what makes 2v2 such a fun game mode. Oh, blue Team Bovar so close to getting that signature off, does get cancelled by a light attack. And there's a knockout for Tybo. Red team up six to four right now. Tybo putting good damage on the energy monster. And we're gonna see if Team Blue here can score a knockout. Ooh, they yeah. do get one onto Hattori. Shadow Lords. Hattori just melting out. to that side here. <laughs> oh, and there we go. Blue team catching up, now evening up the stock count, although they are behind in damage, so they need to make the most of these first few seconds of the stock. 
And we will see Taibo trying to chase down Energy Monster. He does get himself another axe, Ooh. but it doesn't Ooh. matter. Taibo seals the oh, deal. Oh man, Taibo with the side air there on that uh, kill wedge. Absolutely brutal play. Shadow Lords without a weapon right now in a sticky situation, <laughs> but lands a couple of nice uppercuts. That was surprisingly close. I didn't expect that to be so close to being a knockout. You know, that is one of the uh, one of the upsides to Hattori with all that lose speech he has. He can get into those positions a little bit easier, but Adamastic chasing oh, down Tybo on the edge. Tybo Tybo does, does make manage it to recover. Is it going to be enough, though? Chasing around that he right side. makes it back to the platform. He is a lot safer here than he was. Meanwhile, Shadow Lords gets go. picked wow. off by a nice signature from Taros. Uh, each team at three stocks at the moment. Oh, that's so big, Blue Team. Oh, it immediately is a return all even knockout. Up. It's, uh, it it's is two very two close. Right now. Very, very close. close. Match. We'll see who's going to be able to get the first knockout. Whoever gets knocked out first, that's going to cause a huge detriment to their team. We are going to see a 2 v here. Yeah, Taros looking pretty damaged right now. He needs to stay alive in these seconds because 1v2 is very hard to overcome. Although it is possible. We'll see both teams pretty close in, in life right now. Damaged. Taros dangerously low. Nice signature hit there from Hattori. Oh, almost lands the down oh, signature. There's the knockout from wow. Taibo. It's now 2v1 with Team Blue. Oh, no, it's so close to doing the Going black for the hole black hole combo. Oh, there goes the ground pound edge card. Nicely played from Boo. And yeah, they take the set. Boo takes the set in the Boo opening match. Showing edge. off why they are seated the highest in this tournament. Well played, both teams in the first best of three. Just some beautiful, aggressive play from both teams here to start everything off. Yeah, I like seeing that Hattori work out. That was interesting. All right, guys. So that concludes the first matchup between Boo and Webb. Boo taking a 2-0. Not quite an unexpected result being top seed versus <laughs> yeah. bottom seed. But, yeah. you know, this is the way that most of these tournaments start off. Up next, we right. are going to be seeing Void versus Ren. Uh, Void and Ren, the third and fourth seed, respectively. So we are going to be having them come and join us as soon as they're done with their round one match. We're going to continue on with all of the Brawlhalla action. All right. Gonna get my secondary console up. <laughs> Yes, for those of you that do not know, you can type in exclamation point beta key into the chat and we have a bot that will deliver you a beta key. Only one per person though. So if you're looking to hop into the game, give it a give it a shot. Check that out. Just going through a little bit of tournament logistics right now, trying to see on the status. Remember, guys, if you want to check out what the current standings are, what scores have been reported, just punch in exclamation mark brackets, and you should head over to the challenge brackets where we are going to be keeping score all day long. I can see loads of people grabbing beta keys. Yeah. Mad shout outs to Foda for uh, helping us out with getting that bot together. We are just so excited about having open beta around the corner oh, yeah. and being able to hook up loads of people who are here on Twitch today with keys so that they can check out the game immediately is awesome. Hopefully we don't run out in like the next 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be ideal, yes. Oh man. Uh, starting off with the intense stuff, we are working on uh, getting things up next. Just right. waiting on the first set of matches to complete. Yep, it sounds, um, according to the tournament organizers that I've got over here on my special, you know, auxiliary chat screen. All of them are just right there, just all they're, looking at us. They're just beyond the distance, <laughs> behind the veil. Um, so, the, so, yeah, so when we do these tournaments, what we try to do is we try to simultaneously have rounds... Uh, constantly going and because you know the length of matches could vary if right. it's a if you go to the third round It's gonna take a little bit longer, right? right so right. tier is currently wrapping up their match against void After which they will be coming into this room and we'll be able to check out their matchup against Ren against Ren. Yep So I am really excited. You know, I see a lot of familiar names in this group <laughs> yeah. um, And it's really interesting because this tournament got announced about a month ago it was a while ago, Maybe yeah. even a little bit longer. And yep. what 
as a result, what had happened is that all these people who like were you know part of the community who yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. made friends with people and stuff, but hadn't started a clan, all Stepped these clans, up into clans. Yeah, just all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden, everyone was like fifteen hundred dollars. We, yeah. we need, we need to sign up for a clan. You know? <laughs> so all of a sudden, all these new clans <laughs> with familiar faces kind of appeared. So and now know, all of them grinding the two v two ladder. Oh man, yeah. Oh man, like you know, everybody here on Ren are some of these guys like Ren Scroyan, for example. Scroyan's been playing the game for almost a year now. Like, this guy is a veteran. He has yep. been with us every step of the way through closed beta. You know, um, Pugsy and Crocky, two really well-known players on the 1v1 right, ladder. And right. So all these guys kind of coming together to start a new clan so that they can compete. Yeah, it's is cool. Just totally awesome. Making all these little communities. I love it. It is great. So, and then kind of the same thing with Tira. They appeared you know, like the the clan emerged they, yeah, from the yeah. void, <laughs> which is funny because we have a, we have a clan named Void today. They, so they, they did not; they, they weren't didn't... created from Void, but yeah, yes, yeah. but from the more <laughs> ethereal, the void. abstract Void. <laughs> so you know, it's just something that I love to see. Like I think teams like this um, are something that really help the community in general. Right, and, right. You know, seeing all this competitive spirit pop up is yeah. it's pretty sweet. I mean, having a group of people that you practice with is only going to make you, like, light years better. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's It's one of the things that I've said to people constantly. I'm like, the only way that my skills are still anywhere relevant is because <laughs> all of these people who play ten times more than me yeah, yeah. show up to stream to beat me up. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> it's, it's surprisingly important to go against players that know what, they do, uh, know what they're doing anyway. Oh, yeah. It you is You can learn awesome. a lot from that, even if you get clobbered. All right, just checking in on the status on tier. We will see. All right, guys, so, you know, one of the other interesting things about having a 2v2 tournament like this is that there's this ongoing debate right now as to whether or not 2v2 or 1v1 is the most competitive <laughs> format. Yeah, I mean, that's totally a thing. Uh, I know, me personally, I like watching 2v2s. And that's because, you know, and both... And they're, they're actually, like, surprisingly different, right? Like, uh, 1v1 is really interesting to watch. Um, each player, most of the time, is very methodical in what they're doing. It's very clear what they are trying to do, and it's, they, like, they, uh, they do it well, right? Sure. Uh, everything's methodical, dodging at the right moments, you know, it's very technical. 2v2, I think there's just, like, a couple too many variables for you to keep track of. So some, we end up with some crazy things end up happening, like, uh, combos between teammates and things, and... That's where uh, the real skill in 2v2, I think, shines, is how well you can also keep track of the separate fights going on on the yeah, map, right? Definitely. So, it's it's really interesting, and it shakes up uh, a lot of the the meta, I think, that we, we see in 1v1. Yep, yeah, friendly fire definitely does make it fun. <laughs> Chaos Zero. Yeah, Definitely have to watch out. You have to be very careful, and, you, and that's uh, it helps a lot to practice with uh, your teammate that you're going to be uh, playing with, because the more you play with each other, the more you recognize uh, how they think, and uh, you can predict them better, so that you can hopefully not hit them with the big signature moves and cost your team a stock. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting because while you're watching these two v two matches, one of the things to really keep an eye on is kind of how the positioning of both players are. Because the right, really good right. teams, you'll see this kind of interesting coordination where they're about this far apart yep. all the time. Yeah, yeah. And they're constantly like moving in yeah, coordination yeah. like this instead of They're um, moving like one up. entity that knows exactly where it needs to place both of its right. two they're, attacks. They're right. Just constantly <laughs> repositioning around the location yep. of the other guy. And it's really interesting because the more experienced two V two teams, you can definitely see this when they play. Yeah, yeah. Because they're constantly trying to trap the other guys in the middle. Right, right. And there's right. a lot of different dodge setups and item toss setups that people are using to kind of force 
that yeah, strong force that position. situation, right, right, right. And it's one of those interesting like strategy elements that just doesn't really exist in one v one. Yeah, that's like totally I personally thing. love one v one. Yeah, one v one, like outthinking the other guy. Yeah, like, yeah no, it's awesome. Him, yeah. it, you know, like that's one of my favorite things in the world. But you know, my appreciation for two v two as a format has just continued to grow over the last uh, several months while we've put it in, just because of the fact that. The, the results are consistent. Like there's yeah. there is a huge element of skill to the game. Yeah, it's, despite all the extra variables, the really strong players do continue to be very consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh it's just awesome to see. So that it's, positioning uh, element is very definitely high skill ceiling for sure. Yeah, definitely one thing to look for when you're watching these matches. I do think it's pretty interesting because you can take two players that have never played 2v2 with uh, one another as their teammate, but are like the top of the ladder in 2v2, right? Like these players know what they're doing in 2v2. Put them next to each other and they won't do nearly as well as they do with their teammate that they've been practicing with. I think that's really cool. And I think that's uh, awesome that this clan tournament is set up to kind of address that. You know, like you need to practice with everyone in your clan oh, yeah. because if you haven't, you don't know how to predict what your teammate's gonna do. Like, and that's such a huge part of 2v2s. Love it. All right, guys, the tournament organizers are working on getting our second team in here right now. We've received an update. It is going to be third seed versus fourth seed, Void versus Ren in this matchup. So if any of the Void players are out there listening, please proceed to the room number. Um, we are <laughs> working all the logistics on an auxiliary chat system because, you know, one of the other things that's interesting about this is that we have been running all of the tournaments online for the last several months. Right. Which uh, is interesting because it allows people, like we have players from Europe yeah, participating, yeah, yeah. we have players from Brazil participating, you know, it's not just the North who American guys who can be around be like, yeah, yeah, on right. location. So we have players from all over the world participating today. Uh, but it occasionally, you know, causes a couple of slowdowns when you're working <laughs> with, you know, 67 chat systems. It's worth it, man. It's worth it. Stuff, but yeah. So. We are going to be getting back to the action shortly. I can see that I don't even have to tell people about the beta keys because everybody's <laughs> everyone's yeah, they're they're figuring it out, man. <laughs> All right, sounds like Void is still wrapping up their first match, and then we will be underway here shortly with the next matchup between Ren and Void. Man, I bet that match is very close. King, then, of, the, King of the Axes wants to know what headsets these are. Uh, these are Afterglow headsets. I don't know the exact model, but they are Afterglows. They're pretty cool. They, they actually glow. It's, yeah, it's, it's the same as these controllers. <laughs> are all glowy. Uh, awesome guys there gave them to us to uh, use in our booths whenever we go to cons. So uh, our booths just look awesome because everything's like blue and blue. All, all <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's pretty cool. Fits in nicely with the Brawlhalla color scheme. You know? <laughs> oh man. What will the second weapon of Ranger be? Well, I guess we're gonna do like Q and A now, like between the yeah. matches. <laughs> so have we have we have we spoiled that? Yeah, totally. Have, Dino oh. like totally leaked that on the first day. I was like, no, save <laughs> it for later. <laughs> save the reveals. Uh, yeah. But the Ranger is gonna be a bow and Katar character. Yeah, yeah. It's, and she's uh, it's aggressive. I love Katars right now. Uh, for the longest time, I felt like I never got the the kit <laughs> like for yeah. like it felt like months where i would try to use guitars and just not do anything good with it because like i would i would attack someone and then i would just kind of sit there dumbfounded like there's just so <laughs> many options i'm just not gonna make a decision <laughs> but uh out like a couple months ago it finally clicked for me and they're such an aggressive uh weapon you just kind of want to uh, stay on top of the other person so it'll be interesting to see how that uh flows with the bow because, yeah. you know, spacing right on top of the person. It'll be interesting. Well, see, that's one of the things that I think is really interesting about the bow, though, because from my time with it, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think of it as a spacing weapon. Like, that's a good point, I think of actually. It as, as, a rush, a of the, as more of a rushdown. That's so interesting, yeah. A lot of the light attacks, I, I guess, are similar it's, to it's, that. It's going to be, it's gonna be interesting. It'll be I interesting think. to see how it ends up. Right. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. All right, so it looks like we actually have gotten. Let's see. <laughs> Trying to make Earth sure we Gash can get into or a what bow. That is right. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what weapon Raven's talking about. I don't get it. <laughs> Just trying to get an estimate on the time that is left between Void versus Tier. 
Will there uh, be more than one bow character? Yes. That's a good question. Uh, I mean. Yeah, as time goes on, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there will be many more bow characters, just like there will be many more axe characters, hammer characters, etc., etc. Yep. Uh, as time goes on, as long as people want to keep seeing more characters, we'll keep making them. So, yeah. Certainly looking forward to that. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting because the... Yeah, every time we come up with a new weapon, we have to kind of immediately be like, okay, and then we need another one with that. Like, we need right, to right, have right. some, like, good contrast. Good, yeah, yeah, right. That is true. <laughs> oh, man. What is it now, Redalus? The Ethanator Lance Axe BMG, please. Oh man, there is so many. There are so many weapon combinations that we want to do. It's just we actually brainstormed not it was a while ago, and we had a list that filled up an entire giant whiteboard the size of this background of combinations of weapons, the things we want to try, out, themes we want to address. So it's just <laughs> that will be never ending. Uh, the combinations people want to see that we want to see. I mean, well, Tetraban says he wants 300 characters. I mean, we could, sold. Yeah, yes, we could eventually. There's no time like you know. <laughs> I mean, needed, all we, right? All you would need is like Ada's time distillation <laughs> yeah. device thing that she's got, and be or like, we'll, we'll just have to crank like uh, <laughs> Dinohedron's cloning device to like an 11. We'll just get a lot of people working on characters that'll work. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every single combination. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Inky Dragneel, it never whispered my beta key. Try uh, typing it again. It should try to give you the same beta key. So, if it didn't go through for whatever reason, try it. Let's try it again. Yeah, and if you guys have any issues with any of the codes that are given out, since we are giving out like a big, massive amount, if for some reason one of your codes isn't working or anything like that, just shoot us a message here on Twitch, and I'll make sure to check our uh, inbox once the tournament yeah, is completed. Yeah, once the tournament's cleared, and we'll, we'll get everything and, and sorted out. And try to get some keys to you yeah, guys that, yeah. have, that have been having some problems. But, you know, we were trying to figure out an efficient way to give out a bunch of beta keys to the masses, so this is... Uh, the way that we landed on doing it. So for the few people that do have problems, do let us know and shoot us a Twitch message. How many characters are we planning to release this year? This year, I I know for sure we are uh, doing one before Christmas, but I'm not sure how many um, are currently planned. I would mean, I would I would bet one, and then uh, one pretty soon the next year. There are always characters in the works, though, right? Always characters. Yeah, we have we have quite a bit. Uh, it's kind of like an assembly line. It's gotta gotta get looked at by like everyone, so yeah. <laughs> it takes time. Well, I think that's one of the interesting things that's come up with Brawlhalla compared to a lot of other fighters is mm. that we end up patching a lot more frequently than your average fighting game. That is um, true. So it, it's, it's been weekly for a while. Because <laughs> we, we get loved and hated for <laughs> the meta constantly changing. You know, yeah. the weapon power, it rises and it falls. Yeah. And the, you know, legends that were top tier a month ago might not be anymore. And so yeah. the the ever-shifting competitive meta of Brawlhalla is part of what makes this game <laughs> pretty interesting. So it's uh, it's one of the, like, additional challenges. Right, right, for <laughs> if sure. You, if you want to remain a top player. <laughs> You know, and, and it's interesting because I've seen top players rotate between you know main characters and you know weapon choices and all right, that kind right, of right. stuff over the course of uh, the last several months. So, no, it's yeah, interesting. It's it's, it's it's uncharted ground, but I, you know I like it. I like it better than a meta settling, to be honest. Oh man! If we can shake that up, you know, get people to try new things, I like that. You know, like everybody's hating on Lance right now. Lance used to be like a one move <laughs> machine. Lance, yeah, the, the highest tier of players uh, used Lance in a way that we weren't too happy with because they basically didn't feel like uh, the risk of all the other moves were worth it, so they basically just stuck to the, the neutral air, which yeah, is... there was a lot of neutral not air. Not so great. <laughs> so we updated that, and now it's like aggressive, like crazy stringing weapon, which is a lot of fun. Yep. For those of you guys who are interested about how the beta keys work, they are just regular steam beta keys 
So you plug that into your Steam account, and you know where it's down in the bottom left where it says activate a product code, and then you'll be able to play Brawlhalla immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Alright guys, it sounds like they are reporting all of the round one matchups right now, so we are going to be getting Void in here shortly. We're going to be seeing Void versus right, Red. I'm ready. C3 versus 4. This should be a pretty close matchup, but you know, we'll see what ends up happening. Again, all these people have been just grinding away. Practicing, practicing tons, it yeah. up. That Every time totally I log big. into the game, it's like 25 of your friends are playing Brawlhalla right now, and it's just like all these people in the clan. 100% like, of your so friends are playing Brawlhalla. So-and-so is in a private Brawlhalla. locked lobby yeah. doing super secret, you know, low gravity training. <laughs> it's just... Super secret training that no one else can join or spectate. No one can know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> all you can know is that I'm working on something. <laughs> oh man, it is gonna be good. Alonso, hi. You want to see dog walk. To death. Dog walk. Buying plane tickets to Georgia. Sweet. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> people are gonna, you know, uh, we've had a couple of people who are like, I'm gonna be in Georgia. Can I? Can I come visit? <laughs> <laughs> and, but I think every single time we've said yes. Yeah. Uh, you know? Sometimes plans fall through, but we've had we've had people here before. It works. It works. You know, <laughs> I just it's nice like for me personally like because I've casted a whole bunch of tournaments online like yeah. This is the first time I've got to sit in a room with a co-caster, man. That's like the best thing. Yeah, I totally. can just look over. I don't have to be like, let me look at the little box over it's here amazing. where I've got a space on Skype. It's amazing <laughs> how the real world works. Oh, you know, there's just, there's just something nice about it. No, that's, that's totally a thing. You know, big physical tournaments, that might be in the, you know, distant future one day, but... For now, I mean, we're down for it. Good. We even got that synchronized water going on. Uh, loud packs. The game is not intended for a keyboard. We we uh, we have made specific effort into making the keyboard uh, equally competitive with controllers. So both of them are are great. We have top tier players that prefer one or the other, and they say that there's not much of a difference competitively. So mm. uh, I would totally uh, advise you to choose whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah, I I personally play with the controller. Uh, sometimes I switch to the keyboard just to see what it's like. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of mix up between keyboard and controller players at the yeah. high level. So, I mean, we've got there's basically no competitive disadvantage. Right, and we had, that is distinctly uh, that that is what we were going for there. So, oh man, it looks like Void oh, is starting to show up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Tetra Bass is gonna make the list of 300 characters he wants. Awesome! Yeah, send it to us. <laughs> we'll get right on those 300 characters. All right, guys. Well, we should be getting underway here shortly. All right. We yeah. Here have comes Void. The Void into the crew lobby. is arriving, including Beta, PX Shadow, Legit Punisher, and Low Sky. Some players that I've been able to get beaten up by quite a few times. <laughs> uh, PX Shadow uh, yes. and Pugsy being a couple of the scariest guitar players right now, but Pugsy looking like he's going to be opting for Bodvar and Dope. Bodvar? And a Suri. I love it. You know, we uh, we casted a tournament last week where we had an Azuri in the final round, I believe. I love Azuri in 2v2. This is pretty interesting. And this, this is, is yeah, Sentinel Bren versus Asuri Bodvar. Here we go on Thunderguard three, Stadium. Two, Eight minutes one, on the clock, three four. stocks per player. Good luck, everyone. All right, here we go. We're getting started. Everybody's starting off with the dive kicks, and we've got some guitar versus guitar action over on the left side as Beta picks up a spear. And things get underway. I don't think we've had any hits yet. <laughs> we've, had, we've had a couple very hesitant, like, I'm gonna peck at you and back off, but here we go. Now it's starting. Pugsy uh, with a sword aggression on Sentinel. Nicely done. Getting some uh, nice damage immediately. 
And it looks like uh, this game has sort of devolved into two 1v1s. Looking like it was going to combine there, but no. Each oh, uh, player just slide oh charge from Beta gosh. to get that knockout. Dope thought he was going to be able to hop I around it. I did not think that that was going to be a knockout. That was very early. And those long charges on those moves, they yeah. can lead to some disastrous... <laughs> yeah, that is a thing. Disastrous occasions right now. Hugsy getting edge guarded by Bryn here. It does make it back just fine, though. Ooh. Oh, Pugsy Ooh, finding a nice signature wow. on a PX Shadow. That's Sinnoh even enough getting to score. Punished uh, for being predictable there. <laughs> Sneaky little bomb throw there from PX Shadow. Doesn't find a target. Right now. Wow. Does eat the combo. Nice punish from Dope right there, finding the knockout. That's putting Team Red up by a stock, but Pugsy's got pretty low health right now. Very low health. He's trying to stay safe down in the shenanigan he area. He's getting uh, some serious value out of this stock, though. Yeah, and that's nice definitely another thing damage. we've talked about in 2v2, is kind of how long you can make that Ooh. stock last. <laughs> the first stock is so important. If he can live here, no, he does get taken out. All right, stock counts now even once again. Red team, I think, a little ahead overall in the damage front. Although Asori has taken quite a bit of damage so far, she's be careful not to be taken out. Yeah, it's interesting to see Asuri come into play here because she's kind of Ooh. been a point of contention. Oh recently. no! Disaster! Hugsy <laughs> with the friendly fire kill right oh, there. No. Oh, that hurt. is not what you want to see at all. Oh, but Pugsy immediately following up with a nice edge guard. Will he be able to take the knockout? No, going PX Shadow does get super aggressive over there against PX Shadow. Oh! oh he gets the nice signature. <laughs> PX just dodging right into it. Wow. That nice. was pretty good. And now looking like a totally even game. Three stocks for each team. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice combo there from Pugsy. Yeah, those uh, those ground stops right there from the hammer. You don't see those as much anymore, but the combo consistency is definitely worth it. Bryn very low right now on the damage front. Needs to be very careful, and she is. She's holding back, wants to let her teammate do the next oh, little bit. Nice no. signature find from Dope right there. Gets punished. Just sneaks on in wow. between the weapon toss, and that's putting Team Red up a stock. Team Red does look like they are favored right now. PX Shadow needs to hold on here. He needs to help his teammate get at least one more stock off if they want to take this game. Oh, and PX Shadow with the slap oh, down the middle. Oh, he does land no. the uppercut to get back though. Oh, wow. It doesn't matter. Slapped again through the center. Wow. With the follow-up. Now evening up the stock count. PX Shadow still needs to stay alive. You don't want to send your teammate into a 1v2. If he can stay around for one more knockout, it would be so huge. A story very low on the HP. Oh, PX Shadow again with so the down the middle. PX Shadow needs to dodge all the edge guard. He does. He makes it back. There's that positioning we Ooh, talked about. Wow. Nice signature from Dope there. Somebody needs to get a knockout soon, though. Oh, oh this is so close. Oh, nice side air there from Pugsy. And Blue Team is down to just Bryn. And Bryn is very low on the HP front. It's not over yet though. She gets one good signature. One good dope, signature. And that's she does get the knockout there. She does need to try to take out a story pretty fast here. Oh, oh gets saved by the wall there. Just Bounce barely. The oh, it's Pugsy. Be it. Pugsy with the down air. The Landing down combo. the bread and butter sword combo to finish off the first match. Nicely done, Red Team. And Ren <laughs> taking it in the very close first that was, match. That was very close. Oh, so good. All right, guys, so we're going to be seeing them mix up the teams really quickly here. Looks like Ren is sending in Scroyan and Crocky. Scroyan and Crocky. This is going to be All an right. incredibly interesting combination. Um, Scroyan, uh, one of the like really old school players. Crocky, he's got, he's probably the most item tossing weapon throwing oriented of all the top players right yeah, now. Yeah, very much so. so you, we can expect to see a lot of uh, spear tosses from this guy. I mean, to the point where the community is nicknamed one of the projectiles after him. So, uh, the, the Yeah, the crocky combo, throw up into uh, unarmed shenanigans they're, they're not, and to pick up the weapon. Balls, and, yeah. They're not crockies now. Because you know, of how, how often this guy uses them. So, We'll see if uh, Crocky's able to make any of his interesting and elaborate setups uh, work in 2v2. I don't know how well they work in 2v2, but it'll be interesting for sure. It's going to be good. <laughs> we will see now who Void decides to send in. We saw a really good performance from Ryan Beta and Ida. PX Shadow, um, but we're going to see who they send in next. I'm loving the diversity of uh, characters picked so far. Yeah. Orion Ada is our next team for Blue Team here. And it's, you know, just one of those really interesting things, again, like, trying to decide, is there, you know, the, the general 
uh, leaning of the meta right now is for people to choose, you know, high armored characters. So anytime we see someone like Hitori or Ada, it's like, <laughs> oh, they are going aggro. <laughs> this is interesting. I I want to see if this works. I'm I'm curious. Bryn Orion versus Orion and Ada. All right. And we got two Orions in the house. It's going to be really interesting to see them square off. There's going to be a lot of lances at play. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. It is going to be interesting. Chip Punisher. Looked like he was going to go with Orion. Let's see if he sticks with that choice. Probably working out picks and bands right now. Yep. Just... Yep. It is going to be an Orion pick. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, behind the scenes in the chat right now, the players are working out which maps which map. to Correct. play on. So there is a picks and band system for that. And once they've decided, it's a good chance that we won't see Thunderguard again. But I'm always interested to see, like, you know, if somebody's if... going to pick, like, a, a random <laughs> map. Now, from what, <laughs> right, I right, right. from what I understand, the Great Hall was not added to the map. That is this, correct. Right. Um, because... It it's, was so a, new. it's so new. It's so new. It got put in on Tuesday. It's a brand new map, <laughs> and too many things could go awry. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, we are back All at right, it. Yeah, hopping in. It's going to be Thunderguard again Three, here two, uh, for our one, uh, second match of the set. All right, we've got Crocky on Ada, Scroyan on Orion, Dudox on Brand, and Legit Punisher on Orion. We will see how this plays out for Void and Brand. Rocky landing a nice ground pound there, immediately getting a little bit of damage. He needs to try to land some of those combos. There he goes, trying to get the setup of the downline. There goes Crocky with the uh, uh, the throw shenanigans. Does land a neutral combo for uh, from that throw. And he is trying to get the style points, I believe. Accidentally hitting his teammate, though. Scroyan now looking pretty damaged. And he does get taken out with a beautiful juggle there from Bren. Nicely played by Red Team. Red team getting first stock the first off. stock now. Crocky's down in the orange. It's likely that he's going to be the next victim here. Crocky needs to stay alive here and at least get one knockout from red team to make sure that they don't just get outvalued in the second stock. It's like blue team trying to find footing. Red team, you know, playing a little, a little back. I want to make sure they don't take oh, anything they don't want to. Attack from wow! There. Nice ground pound coming out from that axe wielding Bren. Let's take the second knockout. Blue team now down to four stocks. And Squin looking very damaged at this point. Needs to be very careful. They cannot let red team get this much value out of their first stock. They need to take them out sometime soon. And, you know, and it's interesting, you look at Red Team right now, they're playing Whoa, such an amazing Team. footsies game. The spacing has just been so cautious very well both this match. Them. Wow. Crocky's still alive somehow, does manage to get back to the stage, but they're still chasing him down. Blue Team is looking for the knockout. struggling to find their footing back on the platform. Oh, wow. Scrawn does land a signature, but uh, not damaged enough to take a knockout. Oh, wow. Crocky with the eight oh, sticks. Pulls Bren it off. lives. Can Scrawn finish this out? She's going to make it back. She makes it back. I can't believe it. Oh, oh double my hit right gosh, there from Crocky. Crocky. Gets one knockout off of it. Can he convert legit over on the right side of the stage? Coming Lost down to, to get this Orion area. knockout. He misses the ground pound. Oh, so close to being a team set up there. And the side heavy does come out. That is another knockout for Blue Team. Evening up the, the, the stock count. Crocky all of a sudden doing a whole lot of work off that Ada stock. We all Blue thought he was team. dead. All of a sudden getting two knockouts off of that life. A lot of this match is going to come down to if Blue Team can get There's quite a bit of damage on this stock. Crocky. <laughs> Crocky with those shenanigans with the thrown items. I love it. Oh, and Red Team. Brand does take uh, Crocky out there with a nice read with the side air. Crocky down the middle. Scrying he's only got one so stock careful. He's going for his Even the setup, light but... attack almost took out Scroy in there. He is so damaged right now. He needs to be so careful. And he is just getting jungled. And yeah, that's going to be it. Orion taking that knockout. Nicely done from Red Team. Hit over on the left side. Putting down damage onto both of the Oh my team. gosh. <laughs> Absolutely brutal damage on Crocky. Crocky just wants to make it back to the platform. And he does make it back, but he lost his item. And this, spacing, this spacing game that we've seen from Void this whole time has just been incredibly effective as Crocky falls for his oh, doom. Man. 
it looks like it's just scroying and he has four stocks to go it's not looking good for blue team here well you know at this point Ooh. it's all about the psychological damage <laughs> yeah I mean, Scroying it's right now trying down to get damage. a red team to attack each other is your is your your best bet <laughs> Yeah, and that is one of the things that does make comebacks possible is it the does. fact that, you know, when you're in that 2v1 situation with friendly fire on, you still have to be very careful. Now, if you look right, at the right, position right, right, here, right. like, this is exactly what we talked about. Like, try to stay on either side of the opponent, keep everything centered, and there we go. Dudox does find the knockout off of a nice juggle. Expertly executed there from Red Team. Wow, that was... Quite the amazing game. Void right there taking match or game number two, and That's that correct. means that we should be going to a third match. Yeah, game number three, I believe so. We will see who they send in next. And this should be our first game three of, of that, the we've seen oh, yeah, that we've seen. Oh, yeah, that we've seen. Right, 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 right. If, uh, or wait, did we, did we get that wrong? I'm pretty sure it was Void 1, Ren 1. I thought it was, but, you know, they, they were changing team colors. We could have gotten confused. That was entirely possible. All right, well, I'm going to check in on the standings. Does look like Fate is joining up. All right, trying to make sure that we can move everything along and keep the matches happening for everybody who is watching today. Again, all of these logistics are happening off-site, so, <laughs> you know, it, one, one day I'll be able to turn around and be like, Hey! <laughs> hey! You know, what's going on? <laughs> be able to turn and look at the sports desk and be like, come on, guys, what's happening? <laughs> but for now, we'll see who's uh, coming back in. Checking on the logistics right here, but you know both of those matches were pretty close. And what was interesting was just close. seeing the uh, the difference in play style um, between what we saw in the first uh, in the first game with the first team that Void set out, and then kind of how L Legit and Dudox played right the second time around with this really interesting spacing game that a lot of yeah, people yeah. were like, you know, that's totally. just not possible with two v two. With two v two, right? You know, they were able to to predict uh, movement so that they could be safe. That is definitely a skill in 2v2. And it does look like we were correct. We're going to be going to game three here between Void and Ren. It looks like Ren is going to be sending in Pugsy and Ornaments, two players who have played uh, quite a bit together in the 2v2 brackets, and also PX Shadow and Low Sky. From what I understand, those guys are in real life friends, you know, IRL and all that <laughs> stuff, so I could be wrong so about they, that, they but could. usually when I see PX Shadow, <laughs> I see Low Sky, uh, so... Um, it's going to be interesting to see these guys match up. We got two Terraces this time around. PX Shadow back again on his main on Sentinel. And Pugsy All on right. Bovar. And it does look like they are, yep, yeah, we are uh, decided on a map and we're hopping into the game now. Yeah, we are getting back into the action. This is game number three to determine who is going to win on this match. The Mammoth Fortress. Good luck, red team. Good luck, blue team. As we hop into game three here, this will decide the set. PX Shadow getting an unarmed combo off on both enemy players there. That He's getting a lot of nice unarmed damage he so far. He is getting a lot of unarmed damage so far. Really waiting on that opportunity to get a weapon. And nice not being there on hit. The PX Shadow, absolutely lovely opener here. You know, he's warmed up at this point. <laughs> yeah, PX Shadow, definitely a player that knows how to maneuver well around the map. We're going to oh, see Pugsy so, Oh, yeah, so the dangerous there for Pugsy. But he does make it back. No follow up from PX Shadow to try to edge guard that. Oh, tries to land the combo. Ornaments get for it. the first wow. knockout, though, from the background. That from is Taros. crazy. Those huge knockouts from Taros. Definitely dangerous, despite whatever health you're in at the time. <laughs> totally. Hugsy very low. So close to landing that knockout. No Sky's going to try to follow up. He does get denied by the weapon oh, throw off. Still screen, gets but he the does get it. Nicely Great pressure done. from Low Sky there. Yep. Nice follow up. Uh, in the face of the thrown item, he just continued, you know, stayed calm, and followed up. And Pugsy, Pugsy trying to chase PX Shadow now. Is it going to be enough? The knockout. Oh my gosh. PX Shadow still alive somehow. Does make his way back down to neutral. Let's Sentinel's see. Sentinel's defense paying off here. Like Shadow. If he's going to be able to convert anything off of this light. He is Pugsy. getting some damage off. There we go. He just needs to not, not be juggled here. Yeah, both PX Pugsy. Shadow and Ornaments. Wow. Both on their first stock still. It's 5-5 five to five right now. There's the hit that wow. sends PX Shadow to his doom. Low Sky almost with the return knockout. Will 
Taros does make it back with a nicely placed dodge. Man, beautiful movement from ornaments right yeah, there seriously. and putting down oh some damage. Oh my gosh, Low Sky just will not die. He makes it back. He's going for the knockout. Nope, he, he was not needed. Taros is getting, uh, is taken out now. It's not going to be enough. Team Blue and Team Red both at four stocks apiece, but Team Red Red's team, taking a lot of damage yeah. right now. Red Team definitely behind on the damage front, and there we go. Uh, they do lose another stock, so Red Team down to three stocks overall. Almost letting the knockout on PX Shadow, but no, PX Shadow does make it back. Red right now looking really strong. They are up a whole stock. PX Shadow down oh, to the red. He gets juggled to the top of the stage. Shadow! Going for the finish. Oh my gosh, he's still alive. And Los Guy running some oh, interference there, but Pugsy, Pugsy lands a BNB. There's PX Shadow. Showing the strength of that down. down light combo. Ornaments trying to edge guard here versus Los Guy. Los Guy snaking around the attacks. Does make it back. Does get juggled one more time, but. Oh, Pugsy, Pugsy with the rotate! It's going aggressive. Is Los Guy going to get knocked out here? Nice Pugsy. side air into the wall. Nice read side air. Oh, Los Guy trying to land the signature, or uh, the unarmed heavy, rather. Doesn't land it, though. Oh, PX Shadow wow. with a good juggle. Can he keep the juggle going? Los Guy staying alive. alive. This is Red Team's last stock, and Los Guy does get taken out. It's just PX Shadow now. And he is on red life. He says, I'm not going out without a fight, though. Gets the knockout onto Pugsy. Knockout. He wants to take ornaments here. Ornaments just trying to buy time until his teammate does make back. Which they are back, and once again, we're seeing the spacing game where blue team just spreads out and will uh, continue to kind of choke the air oh, that Red Pugsy team has. Yeah. Closes out the match with a nice edge play, getting wow. that recovery on the PX Shadow. Convincing performance from Ren <laughs> as Ornaments and Pugsy carries their team. Ren, to yeah, taking the, the set. Match. Nicely done. Oh man, there we have it, guys. All right, we are going to be getting the next contenders in. Oh man. They are reporting up the next matches next set. who are going to be coming in. I believe it might be Wolf versus Fate, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll see who comes on in. Uh, this is round number three that we're on Round now. number three, right. So again, we have seven rounds of round robin here at the beginning. Right. And after that, we're going to be going to double elimination to the phase top two. four. And all of that is going to be incredibly epic. And it does look like we are going to be having Wolf. Wolf versus Fate. Versus Fate. In round three. And so Wolf, the seventh seed here in the tournament. Fate number five. Hmm. So this, this should be fairly close. Should be a pretty close match. It is possible we are going to go to a, you know, game number three again. Which I always <laughs> I love. Well, yeah, game number threes are, are the best. It's just it's so <laughs> hype. You know, the blood starts running through your veins. And you're like, what's going to happen? And then you find out. Oh, this is good. Bringing out Queen and I. Oh, awesome. Oh. <laughs> this is just making me all kind of happy. Because, <laughs> well, like, right now, like Queen, Queen and I is my secret favorite yeah. character right now. For, for reasons that yeah. it, PX Shadow, if you're out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it's just, she's super fun. And, you know, she's I love off-meta picks. Like, yeah, I yeah. just do. Like, I always have. Like, yeah. in all the fighting games I've ever, I've ever played, I've just been like, who's the least popular? I'm going to play that one. <laughs> that one. That one's mine. That one. <laughs> Lucian, big for Red Team. I'm absolutely loving the diversity of the oh, picks man. here. Awesome. All right, yeah, so well, it's going to be Queen Nine, Taros versus Lucian, and Bryn here in the first match of the set of Fate versus Wolf. Good luck, guys. Oh, and, and we're hopping back in here to Thunderguard. Thunderguard. Yeah. Three. All right, well, let's see what these guys bring to the table. Very excited to see Queen Nye and Lucian get in their first uh, moments of spotlight. Oh, 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 action on the right. Just nice low it. The teammate was a little far away, did not immediately Dude, intervene. Like, oh, get, get me out. Get me out. <laughs> yeah, please. I need out. I don't like this anymore. Uh, just digging that start. And Pi is good right that now. Star was strong awesome. as Nye on the right side over there. Nye versus Lucian on the right. Dobreen on Bryn against Taros on the left. Nice pickup on Lucian. Queen Nye getting juggled a little bit, but all that defense paying off. She not even flinching much. Back to the platform, no problem. Nice Lucian good. just trying to space a little bit with his signatures. Wow. There goes the first knockout. Dobrein, nice taking out the first knockout of the game. Team Blue right there. Picking <laughs> it up. Lucian making it a little tough to make it back, but this, uh, oh, Blue there's a pickup from Nye. Oh, oh but he gets no! for a nice movement there. Oh from no! Tarabby. Oh man! Oh, disaster! Lucian cleans up. Cow's making it work. 
Oh, there's All the right. knockout. Nice return Lucy knockout. Edgar. Will they be able to get this edge guard? One oh, Ray just did. He's just Watch trying to make it back. He makes it back. Make it back. Oh what my the gosh. Dobri is saying, I'm not I didn't not think that was die. possible. <laughs> he was out on jumps. All he had was his fall trajectory. Oh, and he somehow guided it home. That's crazy. Right there, the will to live from Dobreen. <laughs> Fai is good. Trying to close out right now. Is he not enough oh, off of the Fai neutral? Good. Not quite. Fai Turning the, the attention out. over to Lucian right now. They've got red team on the ropes, pushing them off the side of the stage before they climb back. They want to take out this red team, Brent, as fast as possible. Oh, this might do it. Oh, yep. Wow. Carol's closing it out. There you go. Four, to four now. Fai is good. Getting some nice damage wow, down on Lucian. Nye. Good movement from him. Lucian taking quite a bit of damage. And he hasn't quite found his footing. There he goes. He does make it back up to the platform. Lucian focusing their efforts on Bren, which nice. allows Lucian to land that side di uh, signature. Yeah, Lucian, Lucian playing a nice spacing game right now. Doing really well on guns despite being in the red. We'll see. Pi is good at searching for a knockout right now. You can feel there, the there, Yeah, he's looking for that Lucian knockout. <laughs> nice attempt at juggle from Bren. Doesn't quite find it. Oh, oh, the teammate signature accidentally clips. Accidental hit right there. Trigger Happy sent Skyward. Oh, oh no, the Dobrin follow up. It down in the middle of the stage. Nice Trigger Happy is well off go. of the signature from Lucian. It's now oh. four to two. This red team. Four stocks to two stocks. All right, three stocks to two stocks. All right, blue team bringing it back. You want to be able to take out this Brin before she gets too much value from the stock. Some damage being traded right now. Nice little thrown item combo there uh, for Red Team. Dobreen right now, still a whole stock up compared to everybody else. It's a huge advantage for the Red Team it is right now. Really big advantage. Pi is good, and Trigger Happy are gonna have to turn this around somehow. Now, if they can get Lucian knocked out and make it a 2v1. Oh, Charos. Charos wants to find a weapon at this point, and there he goes. He does find an axe. Nice oh, pick nice, trigger nice happy right there. Setup. Can he close it down though? He cannot, he cannot. Tobrin does make it back just fine. Pi is good. Looking for the oh, nice, oh nice my combo. Gosh. Two knockouts really quickly, but it's now 2v1. And it's just Taros and Taros getting juggled or getting set off to the side there. And he oh, does and get hit nice. with a ground pound. And that looks like that will be it. Yes. Blue team taken out. Good job, red team. In game one of the set. And so wow. Fate takes game, or yeah, game number one against Wolf, despite some impressive performance yeah. from Trigger Happy. Yeah, and immediately off the bat, Blue Team looking very strong, but Red Team brought it back before the end. Yeah, yeah Wolf just started off so aggressive right there, and you know it was just great to see um, Fate being able to turn it around partway yeah. through the match. Looks like Wolf uh, will be bringing out Volcor and Duke here. Alright guys, just a reminder, if you are watching our glorious tournament today from mobile, Twitch currently does not support whispering on mobile <laughs> devices. Oh no. <laughs> so Disaster. Go, so you will go not... to your local library and find a desktop. <laughs> go to your college computer lab. Go bother your, your brother or sister. If, if you're looking for a beta key, uh, that bot will not be able to send it to you if you're on mobile. Yep. <laughs> now if you have already used the command on mobile and you did not get the whisper, it will send you the same key. Right. So over you and over try again. it again. So just try it again. Check it out. But here we go, guys. We've had the contestants All coming right. on in. Fate, No Namer, and Chaos stepping up with Brynn and Roland. Brynn, Sir Roland. And it looks like we've got uh, Volcor and Taros Duke. pick. All right. And, and a Nash, Nash pick. Mm. I do really like Nash. The single 2v2. most violent 2v2 <laughs> competitor <laughs> yeah. to date. Very much very it's, much so. It's all about those crazy down signatures with the hammer leaps. Oh, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure at one point I saw a match where we hit three people with one of those. <laughs> just and they every, all just, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and then I think the teammate lived. Or, no, no, no. They all... Yeah, it was like a crazy juggle scenario. That was absolutely insane. Oh. Nash is down uh, signature with the hammer. Definitely one of my favorite moves in the game. Well, here we go, guys. We're starting off back at Thunderguard Stadium. Ooh. Taros, Red Team's Taros taking, uh, or 
dishing out quite a bit of damage at the immediate start of this match. Yep, we've got Wolf on Team Red, Fate on Team Blue. Watch out for this bomb. <laughs> Almost landed on the teammate. You don't want that. Uh, oh, oh drives wow. Team Red into the bomb. That nice is moves. big damage. Big damage for Blue Team. <laughs> I bet he feels good about that one. Line setups. Thing of beauty when it works out like that. <laughs> Roland playing a little bit of spacing. Looks like Nash did get in, but he does get taken out immediately after him. Blue team takes the first stock of the match. Oh, oh nice bomb toss oh from right there. Oh my gosh, that was a knockout. That's evening up the score five to five right now. Yeah, Volcor immediately seeking revenge from his knockout and immediately finds it with that mine. Oh, and a juggle Nash. Doing quite well so far. Gets another stock for his team. And Volcor over on the left. Volcor, trying to set something up with the so neutrals. So much damage coming Cutting out. The damage on the Bryn right there. Oh no, disaster! Blue team. Blue team needs to find their footing and take out Taros here. If they want to stay in this. Taros getting a lot of value from this stock, oh, and man, he's going he for it. He down. doesn't Ducks quite get it. Find it. He's looking for it so hard. Taros is so far in the red right now. But he just hasn't been hit with anything. It's crazy. He just doesn't seem to care right he now. He just does not care. You know, and I mean, that's the way to play Taros. You know, when you have all that armor at your disposal, just go for it. You know, you he got, is still got alive. Such intelligent movement coming out from Taros. It's crazy. Meanwhile, Volcor over on the left going out after no name. He's going to be trying oh to chase her down. Gosh. Taros scoring a knockout. This Taros for still a stock is first disgusting. Stock. And oh another! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Man, this guy's coming out as the, as the MVP right oh now. Oh my gosh, yeah. Duck for Still one. hasn't lost a stock. Blue oh. team down to their last two. Big up. Everyone right in this game is down to their last uh, first stock, and then he does get taken out. He is now down to two. rests at three to two with red team up red an team. entire stock. Red team doing quite nicely so far. They're in a lofty lead at this point, as both of their players are in the white. Oh, Bryn, so close to being taken out there, but uh, Taros not pursuing so aggressively. He wants to stay back, get the easy damage without risking too much. And a duck right now on Taros is just doing such great work. Volcor, meanwhile, he's been putting down the damage consistently for Team Red. Volcor started really strong in this match. He, he immediately got like a, a double kill after being taken out on so no really Name's good. been doing a great job of finding those signatures on Bryn throughout the match, but it's down to the last stock, <laughs> nice. but it's 2v1 nice now. Edgar. It is a 2v1. Now, Blue Team both have one stock. No Name just needs to stay alive on Bryn if he can do that. If No Name, yeah, if No Name can manage to not get taken out here, then uh, they can set up black holes for the last stock, and then suddenly this lead from Red Team isn't much at all. This is all going to come down to if Taros can land the hit. On no name. If you can turn this into a 1v1, both players are in the red right now. They just he need to wants the red to find that hit. And as part Blue of why you can see Duck oh. avoiding going to the center of the oh stage. Oh my gosh. Just gotta be so careful. Blue team needs to stay together for this stock. Oh, Taros does take out the first player. And now it is a 1v1 where Taros has two stocks and Sir Roland only has one. Duck right now just trying to find that big hit to close out Roland, but. He is not going down without a fight. Goes for the nice forward set. Oh, chaos! Oh, oh, chaos does get taken out. Oh, Taro's well played, man. You only lost a stock that game. That was crazy. It was an incredible Woo. performance from Duck on Taro's right there. Uh, oh, man. Wow. <laughs> that, was, that was a good match. There's some beautiful Woo. play coming out from the Wolf team right there, taking the second game against Fate. <laughs> And it looks like we are going to be going to a best of three. <laughs> Game number three right now between Fate hey, and Hey, White Chibi, I said Duke. His name's Duke. Yeah. <laughs> it's Duck. It's Duck. It's Duck. It's actually Duck. Okay. It seems like it's Duck. All right, Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Hats off to match. you. Dope Rain and Cocaine King going to be uh, coming out here for Red Team. Uh, blue team bringing out Trigger Happy and Void Light. Oh man, I haven't played against Void Light in a minute. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how this matches up. We've got, oh hey, look, we've got our first Barasa. Wow, I was, I was wondering when that was gonna come out, and uh, it does look like it will be picked up here by Wolf. Barasa being the new Axe Blasters character. Super defensive uh, with that Axe Blaster. 
be really interesting to see how his signatures play out in 2v2. I don't think I've seen a single 2v2. I've, I've cast it in a, in a tournament. Yeah, no. Yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, this, this is, is going to be the first one. This is yeah. first official tournament yeah. appearance. Awesome. I believe. Trigger happy. Don't don't let me down. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, here we go. We're back at Thunderguard Stadium. Cocaine King and Dobreen against Void Light and Trigger Happy. Whoever wins this is going to be taking the match between Nate and Wolf. Trigger Happy landing some nice damage immediately on that Taros. Oh, nice read with the neutral there. That was pretty risky, but it pays off. Yeah, it's fun. It's uh, like both players are just kind of going to their mirrors right now. Barraza going yeah. up against Taros and <laughs> yeah. Dobrin and Void Light over there on oh, Grin. He does try to land the fully charged heavy, but he doesn't get it. We'll yep. say Trigger Happy playing a nice game uh, here on the right side of the map. He's going for those signatures. Picks the wrong one, goes flying over to Dobrin, but doesn't quite matter just Grin yet. Team. Looking very damaged oh, at this point. Nice signature from Void Light. Wow! Man. Oh no, he doesn't drop down. He was trying to do the grab pound there. Does end up accidentally doing the down heavy instead. Almost punishing Taros there. That would have been huge. Oh, it doesn't quite steer the recovery right and doesn't get the, the knockout. This Both. Taros is on bot time. <laughs> Both oh, teams right oh, now. Oh, nice slide oh, charge from Void charge Light. Coming out of Void Light. Wow. That's and the off screen throw. Oh my gosh. Blue team. Toss right there. <laughs> <laughs> Blue team absolutely strong showing here. Starting off. Uh, yeah, and it's 6 stock to 4 stock. Although, uh, Blue team very, very damaged. Oh, Trigger oh, Happy going for the jungle. Happy. Doesn't quite find it right there. Void Light and Dobreen on the left side of the oh stage. My gosh. Trigger Happy playing an amazing game of Barraza here. He is representing the Barraza everywhere. Oh, he, he does, does make, make it back, back the defense! It. Huge amount of armor oh, no! right there, but he messes up the recovery. It it's was, now 5-4. It to four. so close. Oh, man. And then they and even it up. evens it up, although they are still behind in damage. <laughs> oh, man. Intensive play from everybody Ooh. as Taros gets knocked Ooh. around quite a bit. That was that was close. Yeah. Oh, oh nice parry oh, right the there. Down from signature. Happy. Good move. Oh man. Oh, the follow up it coming out of the signature. Uh, side signature. And then trying to, trying to get the edge guard. Space. Not quite finding it though. Oh, trigger happy. You can tell he was searching for something. He right was. There he was the looking for it. There's the side air. He's gonna continue chasing him down. Covers the oh. wall. The item tosses. And nice, <laughs> nice bait. Nice bait. He baited out the dodge there with the weapon throw so that he could land an unarmed oh, hit. Taros wow. with the betrayal! Dobrin goes flying. Blue team's all. up by two stocks. Trigger Happy trying to find this knockout. Blue team both at two stocks and fairly healthy for the stage at the game that we are, uh, we are in at this point. Void Light and Trigger Happy right now with a good positioning. They got Team Red trapped oh. in the middle trying to set something up. Taros is on his oh, last man. stock and that's oh, it. Trigger no. Happy closes it out. Blue team. Oh my gosh. It's now 2 Oh, with the throw even. The pickup right there from Trigger Happy. Dobreen is on the ropes right now. Just He's running around the stage. Desperately trying to separate blue team so that he can get some damage on one of the players without having to deal with both. And that's exactly what he's doing. Trigger Happy, uh, completely fine with just letting his teammate Man, handle it. There it goes. signature yep. from Bryn Woo! closes it out for Wolf taking it up. Wow. That was... That was very well played from Wolf. Huge lead advantage. And, I mean, you know, again, remember, like, Wolf, they were the seventh seed yeah. for this. And showing, they are proving that they have what that it they takes have sure. to just compete, you know, to come out and be like, what, you know, seeds, whatever. We, we've we got great players, <laughs> and we are going to prove it. Yeah, totally, man. Oh, man, great game Yeah, Dinah right Heater Barraza, one game, one win, 100%. Competitive tournament standings at the moment. <laughs> Absolutely 100% factual. Just complete, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All one out of one of the games that we are pulling from. <laughs> it is so good. And it looks like next up on stream, according to the tournament organizers, we are going to be having Ren versus Tear up next. All right. So we will have them uh, entering the room here shortly. In the meantime, to give you guys a quick update, this is the 2v2 clan battle <laughs> tournament. And this has been hosted by the community. There is a $1,500, $1,500. prize pool that was put up by uh, the, one of the leaders of Clan Boo. So yeah, I think yeah. they, they expect 
you know, <laughs> to, to win some of that to, money. To only back. lose fifty percent of that money, they, it, yeah, it, it is possible. <laughs> uh, but you know, they were they were very generous, and they decided to to sponsor this thing. And yeah, yeah. They asked us to Super cast. Super cool. So and know, we're happy to do it, man. Yep. So I'm uh, I'm you know. Dan Ray the Nichols, I guess we do full names now. Yeah, I'm Raiden. So. This I, is Redless. I, I'm Redless Nicholas, Redless Kreider. And uh, we were both at, devs, yeah. You know, Blue Mammoth Games, we, we make this game a bit. He, we, we, he we, makes we it do more things. than I do. I just, you know, I kind of like. Do you present stuff. the game well, though. I'm like, hey, there's this stuff. There's this. Th these it's things. awesome. <laughs> Let's get hype. Let's go have a tournament, you know? Like. But uh, yeah, we are halfway through the round robin stages um, of this game. So in this tournament, what's happening? There's a round robin section where all participating clans have to square off against every right. other participating right, right, clan. Right. Afterwards, we are going to be going to a double elimination, to best of five, two. top four, based on the scores from everybody throughout the round robin phase. And right now, we are going to be seeing Tyr versus Ren up next. Looks like All Ren right. has already joined the room. So I have some members from Tyr. And we are going to be getting back in. underway. Oh, yeah. Checking out chat. Chat's over here. Yep. Game's over here. Console's up here. Tournament yeah, organizers it's just all over the time here. Just There's just <laughs> screens everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's kind of like flying yeah, we're, a starship. We're, we're locked in here. There's no way out, actually. <laughs> like, we're surrounded. <laughs> welcome to the Starship BMT. <laughs> Quickly, these, to Twitch these chat. These are the true stories. <laughs> Pull up that overlay. I need some information from the scans. You know, it's, it's just like that. <laughs> Oh man, this is awesome! I'm really excited to see uh, to see some of these guys play, especially yeah. some of the guys in tier. Because again, like tier is comprised of a lot of players who have been around for a very long time, right. but have only just recently banded formed, together. Yeah, formed a clan, um, right? You know, so like Misfit, for example, like Misfit's one of the people I blame for us having one v one at all. Uh, <laughs> He's been around for a long time. <laughs> he was like, you know. A long time ago, like there was one of the first videos I ever made about Brawlhalla. There's this comment from Misfit. He's just like, "Let's one v one." Yeah, I don't doubt it. And then it just all like escalated from there. You know, so uh, Misfit's definitely been around yeah. for a long time since the beginning of Close Yeah, beta. I guess that. I guess that um, was way back when we didn't even have a one v one ladder. Yeah, it was just free for all online. It was free for all with and custom then customs. Yeah. Those came in, and you know, everyone just kind of carried over. And, <laughs> You know, like Zaloxer, he's another guy. Uh, not only has he been a player for a very long time, but he's also helped us organize a couple community tournaments. Right, right, uh, right, right. And, you know, coordination with Tier Monster, and you know, just it's again, it's just like it's one of the beautiful things about closed beta that I think a lot of people are going to miss is just kind of like all this level of familiarity. You have yeah, with yeah, a bunch yeah. Of the players. Yeah, um, it's like it's like a small town. You know, you know everyone. You pop in the one v one ladder. You know a lot of the people that it, you go against. It's like living in Georgia. <laughs> everyone says good morning. <laughs> You know, they say, how y'all doing? Like, it's just, it's, everyone's super friendly. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so we are going to be getting here underway shortly. And this is round like them number just four. just sorting out who each clan wants to play. Or to send <sighs> out, rather. Oh, man. This is going to be good. Got to remember to hydrate between matches. Yeah, totally, man. Gotta remember to adjust my Brawlhalla shirt. You know, make sure my my sleeves aren't actually. Yeah, make sure to do up. that when we have the webcam up. You know, like, <laughs> yes, everyone. I gotta get my, uh, you know, company uniform straight. <laughs> oh oh man. man. That is good stuff. All right, let's see. Uh, Ren and Tear. There's any updates in chat? Looks like right now they're going through uh, picks and bans. Yeah, just just making sure they know which players they want to send out. Hopefully, we haven't run out of beta keys just yet. I still see the bot giving them out. So remember, I think if it's you still are working. <laughs> you're brand new to Brawlhalla, you are interested in checking out this uh, ridiculous. <laughs> to explosive chaotic that, fighter <laughs> that you know what a bunch of adjectives <laughs> there's a lot of adjectives you know? <laughs> epic explosive <laughs> in your face ridiculously crazy you know so all those bad. adjectives in a big pile you know don't forget just <laughs> type so, in yeah beta type key. in an exclamation point beta key we have a bot that'll hook you up and with access 
Oh, and it looks like here we are starting into the first match of this next set between Rin and Tyr. Got a lot of interesting skins coming out for this. <laughs> Got Remorse and PKPR right. over on Team Red. Dope and Pugsy over on the right side. Another Asuri pick. I love seeing Asuri and 2v2. Yeah, this is actually the same uh, team that we saw before. Pugsy and Dope uh, both right. on Team Ren. So Tyr are the new contenders that we are seeing for the first time on stream right now. Tyr right. is seated at pickup. 6. So we'll see how they're able to go up against seed number four right here. I'm interested to see how this thatch ends up working. I know we have a coworker who loves Dolce. He loves to throw out the down signature from Thatch's blaster set, the cannonballs, and uh, use that all the time in two v two. Cannonballs see definitely. How much that's this used in the competitive. Area. Well, we'll see if that ends up getting used. You know, it's got a lot of zone coverage, but right now Team Red <laughs> definitely seeming to control <laughs> Ooh, the pacing no. of the map so far. Oh, but PKPR is going to melt to a couple of side airs. Wow. There and, he know, goes. That's the risk reward with that. He's got great, great force, but with you know yeah. three armor. He's, he's, he's a bit melt. of a glass cannon. That is true. Pugsy right Red now team. searching for the knockout. Oh, but Ooh. he gets caught out by PKPR on that. Great move on opportunity right oh, no. there. That's not where you want the mine at all. <laughs> oh, disaster. Oh, man. Oh. Suddenly, it's a whole different wow. game. Five to three Whoa. right now with Team Blue up. Blue is doing absolutely incredibly this match. Ren is coming out very strong despite some nice moves from Team Red. <laughs> we'll see if Tyr is going to be able to turn this around. Dobonosuri is still on his first stop. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. You know, really? Zori, uh Pretty aggressive character. Really good movement. Really from him. expect to, to burn fast, burn quick with that, but. Oh, there's the, the value. B -B close wow. out from Dope. Throws oh, the weapon. Getting toss the follow -up. He does enough. get the follow up. Wow. Alright. Dope with oh. the super aggression, but PKPR fishing. PKP him out. says no, enough, <laughs> and takes him out with the bread and butter combo. And, you know, and that's one of the things I love seeing people landing those sword combos because the distance on that BNB is so short and finding that range in yep. a 2v2 fight when everything is so frenetic can be super challenging. And if you miss it, you know, it's got a decent little recovery on it, so you have to watch out. And it it's is a now lot of threats. 2v1 wow. right now. They have just... A Suri, been... even with the, the item throw to protect the teammate there, that was really cool, actually. Going for the unarmed punish, <laughs> this, not quite far this is, this is This is really hard for Remorse here. He's got quite the number of stocks to make up. And Ren coming out with such a huge Blue dominant team. performance off the great dance finish. so well this match. Wow. And <laughs> Ren, Four stocks wow. up at the end. Nicely done. Very, very convincing performance <laughs> from them. But then again, you know, I feel like Dope and Pugsy, them, you know, having seen Ren play before, that's, you know, it's their first string. It's their first, right. it's, you know, their first stringers. They're going to be sending those guys out, um, you know, to represent them first. And that's part of what the strategy is in these, in this kind of clan battle format is like, you know, who do we think they're going to send out first? Right, they're going right, to send right. out their strongest team should, or yeah, weakest team? Should we hold them back for the next set? You're right. Exactly. That is, that's an interesting part of the strategy there. And it's interesting to see different teams take uh, different takes on that. You know, we saw Boo throw out immediately just, boom, exit photo. Yeah, the two, the two best <laughs> just, players we've got. And we yeah. are going to start this tournament strong. <laughs> and, and that's interesting, you know, and I feel like that's a little bit more of a challenge for some of the guys who have kind of formed the clans recently because, you know, for example, right. like Boo and JV4, the two top seeds, right, right, right. have been around for a very long time. Right. Um, Boo has been in existence in one name or another since probably uh, May or so. JV4 collected up a whole bunch of veteran players, uh, I want to say around August, mm. um, early August. I guess maybe late July. So those clans just having been around for that much longer have definitely had you know more time to practice and learn the ins and outs of coordinating right, with right, their right. team. Um, and so you know that might have a little something to do with the way that the seeds worked <laughs> out for this. Um, you know, and and for me it's interesting because I'm a hoping that and I believe the intention behind all of this is to have more. Uh, of this particular type of format continuing right. to be um, held by the community. Yeah, yeah, and I, I love the rule set and format of this tournament. I think it's actually like really well designed uh, for testing an overall clan because I know we have uh, a few really, really strong 2v2 teams. Right. It's interesting to see uh, clans not being able to rely so heavily yeah. on them. It's, and it's like really it, cool. And I mean, I think that's part of what we saw with Wolf, you know, like when in their match um, up against Fate where they were like, you know what? Like all of our guys are awesome, 
and yeah, we yeah. have a great time playing yeah. together, and we can prove it out. Like, you know, and it's, right. It's, uh, right, right, right. It's just an awesome format. I mean, that high average skill level of all of your members is oh, huge. Yeah. It is awesome. So we are going to be getting on to game number two here. Between Ren and Tyr, right? Yep, Ren and Tyr. We're going to see who gets sent in next. It looks like Ornaments is the only guy keyed in just yet. And again, you know, in these between rounds, we've got people picking out, you know, yeah. maps and... Clans, clans are strategizing, you know, which players they, they feel like they need to send. In a clan battle tournament, there is a high level of strategery. <laughs> But they're and actually associated is. It's shenanigans. I just wanted to say strategery. That's you know, I can't say it very often. I think you're good. The applications are slim. All right, looks like we got ornaments and crocky over here for Team Red, and Tier is setting in Misfit and Zaloxery, and this All is right. a good example. Like these guys are heavy hitters. Yes, they are. Um, and Zaloxery on Scarlet, which is Scarlet Brin pickup. Wow. All right. It's gonna be very I like interesting. It. Zaloxery has been playing Scarlet for a very long time. Um, you know, switching it up with some Roland here and there. Right, right, right. Um, but it's going to be interesting. Let's get that Lance in there. Interesting to see. And Misfit on Bryn is also going to be Crocky interesting. on Ada and Ornaments playing his Taros. Here we go. Match number two of the set. And we are on Blackguard Keep for the first time today. Three, two, one, the uh, namesake right. of the guy who's been giving out keys to everybody all day long. <laughs> Alright, Kraki starting off immediately with some damage. Both teams right now starting off pretty well. Zaloxery is still searching for a weapon drop. One over on the right, right side. Yep, he does go to pick that up. It's a little dangerous to stay there, so he does make it back up to the platform. Ada completely fine with letting him return back up to the main platform. Doesn't want to go so aggressive just yet. Man, Kraki finding a nice hit right there on the Misfit. <laughs> Misfit trying to approach there with the axe down there, but just doesn't quite find the speed to catch up. Oh, Zalaxi oh! hit by the item toss. Oh my gosh, a beautiful throw coming out from Ada for the first knockout of the game. And Team Red right now, Ornaments and Karaki just coming out super strong, although there is the evening blow right there off of the bomb toss. Five stocks to five. Pretty even match. Scarlet is pretty damaged at this point, but uh, if she can manage to get some value out of this stock, you know, no harm, no foul. Ada doing a nice job of not taking like hardly any damage this match. Yeah, Crocky definitely one of the more, um, you know, having played Ada for so long, having all that low armor, oh, he's oh, definitely oh, used wow. to threading the needle just like that. Team Red's now up an entire stock, five to four. Finding the signature hit, Crocky. Oh my gosh. It's just being super aggressive, oh stopping gosh. all of the game plans right now. Misfit, Misfit on needs the to make it back. It's the luxury trying to help out his teammate. He does uh, make some space for him, so that was nice. Whoa. <laughs> closes it out. Misfit's down oh, to his man. last stock, and it just feels like uh, uh, Team Blue just wasn't quite able to find the rhythm right now. Crocky and Ornaments just controlling most of the they pacing of the match. Really well. Red Team only lost the stock so far. Although they are oh, getting man. some heavy damage. Ornaments interrupting that juggle over there on the left. Misfits Ooh, trying to drive him out. It's not in. enough. Can he get he back? Goes in for the edge guard, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, oh nice wow. pick from Zelo. Churning targets right there to get yeah, Rocky knocked out. That was really out. nice. And Team Blue isn't out of this yet. <laughs> so Luxury trying out the slide charge. Doesn't quite land it, but that would have been really cool. Oh, Crocky, nice ground Separating pound. out the blue team right there. Let's see if this works to their advantage. Misfit on the ropes on the left. If he gets knocked out, this is going to go to 2v1. Misfit, Misfit needs to stay alive here for the sake of his teammate. Oh, beautiful uh, signature right there from his luxury. Although Ornaments is still alive. Still very much still in the fight. Oh, Misfit. So luxury needs to be so careful here. Oh, it's worrying me. Oh, oh, and Ornaments man. gets the pick. It's 2v1 it down now. To a 2v1. It's a luxury. Wow, nice. Uh, <laughs> off of the sidekick. You know, if he's able to get the stock off Taros, he still has a decent chance of taking this game. He does. I think but... he should uh, prioritize Taros at this point, but uh, it looks like he's going. He's going for the red player. You know, he wants to. Wants yeah. to get the salvation of the couple seconds of invulnerability or respawn time. You know, and Blackguard keeps a really interesting stage Ooh. for 2v1s just because of the soft platforms on the side. Right. If you're the solo contender, 
you can usually take advantage of that portion of the map because it makes it's it a little hard. Much more tactic. difficult to do double edge guards. Oh, beautiful uh, spacing there on that recover, and Ornaments does take uh, the first knockout on Selux right here in the 2v1. 2v1 Zalox are you trying to do what damage he can. He's trying to poke in there. He needs a but weapon just drop. A wall. But it's just... He does get a weapon. He's getting punished there for the ground pound. Oh, nice pickup from Rocky the... right there. Being predictable. Zaluxery trying to find damage, but oh wow! Big hit onto Crocky right there. Immediately punished though uh, for being stuck in that recovery by um, ornaments. That was actually a really nice follow up. Yeah, Zaluxery so taking care of the window right there, the but losses. now they're chasing Ooh. him down. He's on the ropes. We're going to see a double edge guard here. They're trying to cover that platform. Oh no! Not enough! Zaluxery <laughs> goes for the soft platform, <laughs> the platform and falls to his doom. You know, beautiful effort there from Sloxer. He's just not quite able to close it out. Good job, Red Team. Oh, man. Ooh. Ren coming out in a convincing performance. Yeah, seriously. Up against here. <laughs> nice moves from everybody. And I'm going to see about getting us a bracket update. All right. Should be moving along to the next match here soon. Once all the scores are reported, remember guys, if you want to see the brackets, they are on challenge.com. Just hit exclamation mark brackets. And by hit, I mean type. So type that in the type chat. That in. You hit it on your keyboard. Unless you have that, like, you know, hit to like one of your like automatic buttons on a keyboard, right? Like, Which you if, if you already bound that to that, I would be surprised, but you know. <laughs> There we go, Mubot delivering the link to the brackets. If anyone Mubot, wants to check that out. You the real MVP. <laughs> so good. Alright, let's see what Guy on the right. I guess right that's now. me. I guess I'm on the right. Uh what's my main? That's a good question. I uh I've been playing random a lot in 1v1. I really like Nash in 2v2. I think he's a lot of fun in 2v2. Um also, uh, I've been picking up Lucian quite a bit. You know, I, I really like Katars right now. I feel like I finally get the kit. <laughs> so, uh, I like using that quite a bit. 1v1, probably Lucian. I also really like Azuri and uh, Hattori. I like their play styles. I make it a point to, to play all of them. Yeah, I play random or <laughs> new. Or so new. <laughs> playing a lot of Barraza new. lately. Yeah. He is super fun. I have fun, not man. put in that much time with Barraza yet on the 1v1 ladder. Yeah, it's, he's like, I don't know, he's super fun. He's yeah. got, you know, he's got his problems. I love his axe throw. Got, his neutral the, signature the, on his axe. It axe feels so good. Fun, man. The <laughs> axe is super fun. Alright guys, so it looks like up next we are going to be seeing... Uh, let's see what the update is. I want to say it is JV4 versus Tier. So JV4 is seed number two. Tier we just saw in their matchup against Ren. So we are going to get this rocket and rolling up next. According right. to the standings, JV4 has yet to lose a match today. <laughs> All right. Tier has gone 50-50 in their matches. So we're going to see if they're going to be able to steal off a win here. Uh, but right now, the, the tournament brackets, uh, the win-loss reports on those brackets is um, very polarizing. So these, yeah, last few, totally. these last few rounds should be very, very interesting, especially when we get to see uh, JV4, Ryan, and Boo square off against one another uh, just because <laughs> all of those cool. guys have gone clear undefeated so far. But here we go. We are in it. We're seeing Tier versus JV4. All right, yeah, it looks like we're hopping in. Man, Both of our Lucian versus Taro's uh, Roland here. Yep, and this is the first time we're seeing Egg Soup and part of the Creed play today. Oh, there was something was wrong. Looks I like think, we had I an accidental Misfit, map selection. Misfit Selectory played last match, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah. Day we'll, one day we'll make Dolce build that into the client. We'll just make him do it. <laughs> Warning, this player has played in the last match. <laughs> Oh man. It's okay, the players know how to get it sorted. Everyone just commits suicide. <laughs> and Red Team wins! What? <laughs> JV4, wow. Alright guys, we're gonna be getting a reset on All right, right now. Let's, let's let's fix whatever was up with that. I wonder what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like it was a uh, just a map. No, problem. not sure. Yeah, map. It looks like it was a map issue. Could be. Maybe. I don't know. Something happened, but it got fixed.
<laughs> and here we go into the actual first match. If it's black, yeah, that's right. Crush. That's right. Professional, professional stream. stream. Professional stream. It is. We uh, try our hardest to bring. Thunderguard Stadium. Now we're at it. Thunderguard Stadium. All right, we're ready to. Part of the it. Creed and Egg Soup <laughs> against Misfit and Zaloxery. <laughs> Team Red versus Team Blue. JV4 undefeated so far. Tier has gone two for two in their matches. So let's see if they're going to be able to steal one off of one of the top clans. All right. Nice, uh, aggressive edge guard there from Exu. He's trying to follow up. He doesn't quite find the neutral air or yeah. the down air. Zaloxery gets wow! down by the weapon toss. Took so much damage. Couldn't oh avoid it. Oh my gosh, absolutely insane. Nice toss right there from Exu. Giving yeah, that was a really Team nice Red weapon a big toss. early advantage. And Misfit not going to be able to make wow! it back either. Part of the Creed Red forcing him off the stage. Oh my gosh. Huge aggression right now from Exu and part of the Creed. Oh, Egg Soup does get punished there. Nice. Wow. Zaloxery dancing 2-1 to one right there for a minute, guarding that weapon yeah, spawn. very much so. I mean, at that level of map control, that's something that you end up seeing quite a bit when you get to this competitive level. Oh, Lucian, he's going to make it. Oh, 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 oh my Zaloxery, gosh. Zaloxery, just enough. Zaloxery playing so well right now. He has gotten his team single-handedly back into this. Beautiful does roll eat of mine from yeah. Zaloxery there. Seriously, with the edge guard plays, uh, with uh, his signatures, making just... Very good use of those. Nice uh, damage coming out onto Lucian. Oh, he misreads him just a little bit, but that's okay. He's actually still not taken out. He has made so much work with this stock. He wants to watch out for that mine there. <laughs> so. Oh, part of the Oh my god! But he does make he gets it up. He gets by the teammate. His buddy. Oh, okay, I yeah. love the dynamic of 2v2. Oh, Red team and part of the saving cream. his teammate from almost certain death. Whew. Turning it around wow. right there, and now Red Team has such a huge advantage. Oh my off of gosh, that. Egg Soup with a huge combo there off the edge. I thought that was almost going to be a knockout. It's but Zaloxery Zaloxery makes still it back. Alive, though. <laughs> nice ground pound hit there. That's not going to be a knockout, but it does mean he will make it back to the to the ground just fine. Zaloxery now doesn't have a weapon. Nice he needs to find something. Nice misfit there. Zaloxery somehow worthy, uh, and swerving kill. through everything, and Blue Team has even up the stock count. Although it's Luxury very low on it's HP. Luxury and Misfit both on the ropes right now. Oh, oh Egg Soup closes out. Misfit last stocks. Luxury's by himself. Roland oh does get picked gosh, up. Oh my gosh, the combo! The armor keeps him alive. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of a botched edge guard, but there it goes. The karate you know, to seal as it long as <laughs> it may not have been pretty, but as long as it worked in the end. Oh man, we've got. I'm pretty sure he threw a weapon up at his teammate, and then the teammate got canceled out of his edge guard attack. Oh, it is now an official Brawlhalla event. The Kreider <laughs> meltdown and the laughter has happened. Uh, <laughs> oh man, that was just such amazing aggression and coordination from JV4 right there, and we can definitely see. I mean, despite some amazing plays from Zaloxery and Misfit, we can definitely see why JV4 has been undefeated. Very so strong far. plays. Egg suit with five knockouts that round. Wow. Oh, man. Now here comes Stevenator coming in for JV4 and Stardust, who's already got Barasa in. Uh, he's Every, locked uh, in. He's ready to go, everyone man. Everyone definitely seeming to favor that Nemesis skin today. Oh, man. <laughs> Looking forward to that. That was a fast match. <laughs> So guys, just remember, if you are trying to get a beta key, it does get sent to you in a whisper. So if you are not at some sort of technology that receives whispers, you can use the command again to get that sent to you. Right now, this is round number five of the 2v2 clan battle tournament. We're going to be seeing JV4 square off in game number two against Tier. It looks like Stevenator and Stardust are going to be squaring Ooh. off against PKPR and Remorse. Playing their... Their uh, main Bodvar Taros combo versus Queen Nye and Bodvar. All right. So it looks like each team opting to have that all uh, well rounded character in the Bodvar pick and then having one heavy hitter. It's pretty interesting. I just like seeing out. Queen Nye. This is the second Queen time I've yeah, seen yeah. Queen Nye today. That's awesome. You know, still a uh, one of my favorite characters. And I can I can like her again now that she's less popular. <laughs> you are allowed. <laughs> I'm self allowed. But here we go, guys. We are in a JV4 on Team on Red. King's Pass. Three, All right. Two. Tier on Team oh. Blue and King's Pass for the first time today. All right. Here we go. We're going to be starting off. It looks like Red Team invading into the lower platform there of Blue Team. Oh, Steven Inter punishing the charge up of the throw there. That was pretty risky. 
So Tier does need to find themselves a win here if they want to take it to a game number three. If JV4 comes out on top, they will get another win to add to their flawless record so far. Oh my gosh. It's like it has oh turned man. into two nice separate Nice combo right ones. there from Stevenator getting the pseudo. Whoa, oh, big my jungle. gosh. Stevenator. Oh, that was really early. Chasing down Nye. Oh little my gosh, a nice a little, combo right there. A little bit of a black hole. Oh Stevenator my gosh. going again for the juggles. And the long delay, not able to get out of the way. Oh my gosh. The dodge gets blown. Those juggles are incredibly dangerous these Stevenator, days. Stevenator, absolutely crazy opening. Yeah, well, he's going to be able to see the He does. He does she make it back up. Crazy oh end play from PKPR. Queen Nye! Queen, Nye, Queen Nye, get Two <laughs> knockouts go to Queen Nye off Queen of Nye with the huge punish. Play. Wow. Oh my gosh. Whew. Man. All, All right. right. Yeah, there you go. Red team was starting just a crazy start, but blue team bringing it back with that crazy Queen Nye uh, edge play there. PKPR definitely showing what Queen Nye is possible of. Oh, Stevenator with the slide charge off the edge. Oh, the Stevenator kill. is Moves definitely warmed up for this tournament. <laughs> definitely warmed up. Gets the slide charge. Gotta love it when you see those uh, those extra tech moves come to work. Yeah, seriously. Right now with that wow. knockout onto Remorse, uh, Red Team is up by a two whole stocks. Blue Team, yeah, down to the last lives. They gotta make these count. KR and Rem need to figure out what they're going to do if they want to turn All this right. around. <laughs> Terras is completely fine being knocked over back to his axe. <laughs> oh, double hit from Terras right there down the center. Remorse trying to get back to safety. Looks like we got a little bit of position reset right there. Ooh. Stevenator going for the juggles on Deny. Forces it down, goes for the item toss, but ends up unarmed, which is oh. never a good idea against Guitars. Red Team Taro's going deep there in the middle. Doesn't quite find the knockout. And Blue Team needs to stay alive oh, here. Man. Great movement right there from PKPR to avoid all of those blows. Oh my gosh, he but finds it might not a hit. He doesn't quite catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Team's Bovar trying desperately to limit the movement. Oh, the oh my range. gosh, Crocky closes it. <laughs> oh my gosh, and a throw follow up and do a ground bound. Does. Oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh! gets two KOs Oh my gosh! Absolutely insane! Uh, He's not done! He's damage. not done just yet! Oh my gosh! Oh, I want to believe! Oh, oh the suicide bomb to close it Red off! Team, Red Team says, no, 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 no more of that! And they close out the game with the suicide! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Man, an oh, incredible remorse. performance right there from JV4, remorse. but remorse there at the end. Trying just... so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Funny things happen on the edge. Oh, oh that was hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Great play coming out from both teams right there, but JV4 being one of the top seeds and performers today. Quick continues thinking to there show from, what they're made of. Quick thinking there from Red Team to just pick up the bomb and say, you know what? This is worth it. <laughs> and just take the hit. Oh, too good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, I'm going to go over here to my auxiliary console and see who's going to be coming up next here on stream. We're moving on towards round number six, the round robin portion coming to a close. Oh, yes, it's pretty quickly. Yeah, we're finishing up here pretty soon. Two more rounds left. Oh, my gosh. That was a great match. All right, guys, so it sounds like up next, we are going to be having Wolf versus Tier, Seed 7 and 6. All right, cool. So we are going to be showing that match next. However, they are currently finishing up their round five matches. All right. That's so, totally uh, you know, we're going to have a little bit of a lull. I don't know if it's time yet for an official break or not. An official break? I mean, you know. we do just have two rounds for... <laughs> The actual official break. Yes, the actual official break is coming up soon. We are going to have like a 10 minute breathing period. Fuji, I know that everybody. match was so crazy. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that again because that <laughs> ending was just so great. Oh man, <laughs> I do love going back and seeing the highlights. Yeah, it's like it's just super good. It's just too good. It's what we need. Somebody should make like a highlight reel. After this is done. Somebody, so, somebody, somebody. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one in particular in mind, but somebody. No, anybody I can do that. <laughs> oh man, 
This should be a pretty interesting matchup. Yeah. You know, after seeing Tier, you know, so this is going to be the third time we're seeing Tier match up against somebody, so I'm going to be very interested to see how, like, I want them to win at this yeah, point. Yeah, like, if they can bring them, it back, right. They, we've seen them make some amazing plays throughout the they, course yeah, of their they've matches. Yeah, they've had some really great starts to some games. I believe they were the team that did uh, the, the black hole at the very beginning, right? Yeah, like, I think, uh, yeah, they, they are very strong. The, the night play from PKPR has been fantastic. We've seen Misfit have some incredible movement around the map. Right. The Loxery being stupidly mainly on Roland, you know, <laughs> representing uh, totally. beautiful beards everywhere. So, like, <laughs> we've seen some great plays from them, and it's just like they just need to squeeze out a match. Right, right, right. You know, they actually they just need to take one of the, one of the match sets because they've won games. They've you know they've gotten stocks, but it's yep. just like not quite able to close it out. Yeah, so we'll see how that works. Man, people are saying I'm tall. They haven't seen you stand up yet. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you stand up, Ethan? No, it's, we're, we're sitting it's just down. I'm, guys. I'm, si I'm sitting up so straight. So. <laughs> yeah. You know, on my stream, nobody sees anything below here <laughs> yeah. ever. So I just always look like I'm so like. People see your torso, they're like, "Wow, I'm crouching in." To the, you know, <laughs> this, this, this is the way that it works. Oh, man. Also, there is just not leg room, so you're kind of forced to, to stand up straight. There are computers. Yeah. We purposefully we, we the forced table. perfect posture <laughs> while happening. It's just like, yeah. For those of you who don't know, Redalus is like a whole foot taller than I am. So I am very yeah. tall. <laughs> seven thirty tall, seven feet. All right. It sounds uh, that That's, might be a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> But it's closer, it's closer to, closer to that than six feet. feet. Or eight feet. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Doors are just such a pain. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Looks like Tier is ready to go, but Wolf is on their last round currently in their matchup. If we check the brackets, we can see what's going on. Remember, if you guys want to see the brackets, just hit X. Well, type in. Excuse me. Hit it. Slowly hit it on your keyboard. Type in exclamation mark brackets, and uh, Mubot will hook you up with that. With that hit key. It. We've got a link over to the challenge brackets right now. If we actually look at the points. Um, We've still got some match reporting going on, but JV4, Boo, and Ren are all um, up at the top right now, followed by Void, who is in fourth position. Tyr, who is now in fifth. Wolf, who has moved up to sixth. And Webb, who is at seven. And Fate in the last rank. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with today's format, it is a round robin leading into a top four double elimination. So it is a two-phase tournament. Two-phase tournament. Once the round robin is complete, we are going to be taking an official 10 minute break, yep. after which we will be going into the double elimination brackets featuring whoever the top, the top four. four is. Yeah, the top four clans. And then they will be playing that double elimination tournament. Oh, man. B Pen Dragon tossing out in Boo We Trust. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of Boo fans in chat today. You know, and like we were saying, because Boo and JB4 are two of the oldest clans, it's right. likely. We're going to see a lot of cheering on for them today. Right, right. Um, but, you know, I've There's always some underdogs been... in there. Yeah. I've always been an underdog guy yeah, when yeah. it comes to sports. You know, like, if in a lot of sports, you know, like, if you if you don't follow uh, a particular sport, but you always end up watching the championship. Right, right. Like, I, you know, like, when Super Bowl rolls around, like, if I haven't watched the whole season, I'm just like, all right, who's the favorite? I'm cheering <laughs> for the other guy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Everyone loves an underdog story, man. Got, you got to do it. So I'm really excited to see who's going to be showing up in third yeah. and fourth place today um, and just how all of this is going to play out in the yeah. end. Uh, Definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> just like a tech, I only root for myself. Well, I mean, well, that is a strategy. <laughs> rooting for yourself is definitely something that all players should do. <laughs> Oh, PX Shadow asking the caster to, to take sides. Ooh. I should cheer for Void. You know, I have to cheer for all people equally, but on che the inside. Cheer for everyone. Cheer for on the, the tournament. On the inside, you know, I'm I'm cheering for the tournament. <laughs> the, the tournament. Yeah. That's why I'm just go tournament. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we're just getting everything wrapped up. Yeah, just waiting on this final final round. Let's get organized and underway. Scores are coming in. <laughs> Woo. All right. 
looks like. Wolf is uh, wow, should be yeah. reporting their scores in a moment, and we'll be having them come on in and join the room. This will be the second time we've had them on screen, and here we go. Here comes oh, Duck. Oh, yeah, here they come. The, tarot, duck, the yeah, duck. terrifying Taros <laughs> player who showed us a ridiculous match earlier. Yeah. Somebody needs to turn that into, like, a Taros montage. Oh, totally, man. <laughs> Dude, there should be so many montages from oh, this tournament. We've had a lot of great games so far. And all these players, I'm really excited to see Volcor and Pia's good play again. Their Nai plus Nash play earlier was really solid. Um, it looks like Trigger Happy and Volcor are in first for Wolf. The Thinator saying, take my energy, not my photo coins. Not, not the photo coins, though. I want to hold on to that one. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Wolf is sending out Volcor and Trigger and just kidding. They're just uh, filing it. That is not their picks. Professional. Super professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just waiting on each clan to choose their players. Trigger Happy still locked in for a Wolf, but this is Wolf versus Ooh. Tier. Looks like they're going to be uh, changing up who's actually going in first now that everybody is filtered on into the room. What do you what do you expect to see in this uh, in this particular match? I don't know. What I'm... are the redless revelations? <laughs> so right now, uh, I want to see I want to see Tier. I want to see Tier bring it. I want to see I want to see Zaluxury land some more slide charging craziness oh, with Roland because that is just amazing. He did that. He did that like three times he in did. one match, which is he crazy. Really did. Slide, is... slide charging requires so much foresight because not only do you have to wait for the move to charge to like actually attack anyone, but you've also got to set up. All right, I'm gonna land on the platform, run to the right, hold down the move, and then no. Like, you've read your opponent so hard that you know that they won't be able to react in yeah. time. It's, it's actually crazy. It is pretty hard to pull off. And it's interesting because that little bit of extra movement, like when we saw Zalox do it in the last match that he played, it was happening very close to the edge. Very it, close. It just caught people just off guard. Just that little extra bit of distance. The extra movement, the like slightly lower hitbox, like it just catches people off guard sometimes. And it looks like he's going Mis with Roland yeah, again. Yeah, he's going with Roland and Misfit. Switching up a little bit. Picking up that Barraza. Picking up Barraza. I this like it. be an uh, interesting choice. Barraza, Sir Roland. Uh, two of the most offensive characters in the game, if not the most offensive characters. Maybe we're seeing just like a straight up armor based yeah, strategy armor. from Tier right now. And uh, Trigger Happy choosing that Taros and Volcor on Nash. All right. It looks like uh, they're just going to be sorting out maps. And then we'll hop into this last round of the round robin section of this tournament. All right, guys, we are back in it. We are starting up with Tier versus Wolf. All right, here we go on Thunderguard Stadium. Good luck to both of the teams. And here we go. We're starting off the set. <laughs> Starting off the set is I'm not dropping I controllers all over the place. Not dropping anything at all back this here. This fits the last <laughs> Starting off unarmed, trigger happy, and Volcor already picking up hammers. This fit does get himself some blasters for the Barraza play. This fit landing quite a bit of damage immediately. He does uh, back off there. That's actually pretty cool. Big oh, hammer. It's a luxury. Needs right to there. go help his teammate. Misfit getting juggled a little bit. He does uh, find space with the luxury uh, pressuring there. It's nice play by him. Just oh, Misfit gets oh, the very wow. nice shot. Gets the first Just knockout on the Barely a knockout. And the combo. The team combo. All right. The luxury and Misfit showing why they are still in this tournament. Looking like a whole different tier this time around. Starting off strong. The luxury still alive. Trying oh. to recover. Does make the it to the luxury is still in this. Those he eight is armor so picks. damaged right now. Needs to be so careful, and he does punish with the side heavy. Oh my gosh, Volcor now. Oh, oh my the gosh. combos from the luxury, luxury misfit from this misfit. Time. Yeah, seriously, the and the armor, armor paying off so much. Once in this again, match. with the betrayal oh, from God. Trigger Happy, Volcor oh goes God. flying down to his doom. Tier oh. is up five to three right yeah, now against seriously, Wolf. seriously, up two stock. That is quite the lead. And if Zelixri can get even more value out of the stock, it, the, the advantage will just continue to grow. 
Oh, oh but he does get taken out. That's exactly Caster's what blue team needs. strikes again. That's exactly what blue team needs to stay in this. Four versus three. Misfit looking surprisingly confident on the new character. Yes. Good plays so far. They've, they've been very in tune this oh, match with nice each other. Nice ground pound from Zaloxri there covering the edge. Punishes even, with a yeah, bomb toss. Yeah, even punishing the, the long neutral combo there. And, and that's part of the reason why we say that, you know, full awareness of what's going on yep. is such a key part in 2v2 because punishes like that where you've got to you pick free up free damage if you can if you know that uh, both of the other players are locked up, it's free damage. And that's so important in this format. And Misfit trying to get himself a weapon. Nice coverage from Zaloxri there to help him out. Misfit's trying to find it. Oh, oh, oh locks up gosh. both characters. Nice so damage. Much and the parry damage again. coming out from Misfit. I just oh don't think gosh. people were prepared for the barrage of Barraza bullets right yeah. now. Yeah! <laughs> it's a chasing down Volcor. doing so well this match. Oh, gets caught off the BMP that could have been the match right there. Volcor is trying to score himself a knockout, uh, but... Volcor! Nice little item set up, but it's probably not going to matter. Misfit, oh, once Misfit again with that Oh, Misfit does get the parry. down heavy. Wow. Right. There, there you go. So good for so punishing with misfit. moves at close range. A crazy first match of the set. And Tyr showing strong. Man, so if you guys were hoping that Tyr was going to take a set, this could be it. This Zalaxi could be the one. They are it. looking very strong right now. It's coming out super strong in that first match. And I really think that, you know, we initially saw Zaloxery on Scarlet. We originally saw Misfit on Bryn. And, you know, yep, I just right. feel like... Switching up mid-tournament, you know? Feel like those picks really worked out for them. Yeah, they really did this match anyway. And so we are going on here to game number two to see game who wins. Game number two of the set. If Tyr can take this game, uh, they will go back. They will take the set, yep. And then they'll have a, a, a positive win-loss, I believe. Yep, because right now they're tied up at three wins, three losses. So this is a big one for them. You know, they're currently in that fourth spot. All right, and uh, Tyr going for the double axe uh, on Brendan Taros here. PKPR and Remorse. Picking oh, up those characters. Ooh, a Cassidy pick. You know, I was thinking earlier, what what legends have we not seen yet? And wow, this uh, composition from Blue is really interesting. Queen Nye and Cassidy. Oh man, I'm looking forward to this. It's Pi is good really and Ish the second. Gonna be going against the Remorse and PKPR. We are currently at one match favoring Tier. So if Tier <laughs> is able to close this out, they will take the set. Three, it's up to Blue two, Team to one, take this game. Four. Or forfeit the set. Alright, starting off. Ish getting a little bit punished there in the unarmed shenanigans at the beginning of the match. Always gotta love those early unarmed shenanigans as they start off. PKPR separated quickly, but Ooh, Ish, Ish hasn't, been hasn't able to... found a weapon. This is kind of brutal. He needs to find something to start this map. Oh from my remorse. gosh! Ish, absolute disaster. He needs to get a weapon. He just hasn't oh, been able to. He totally melted that great map oh control right gosh. there from Remorse. Just Brutal covering first that stock the whole time. and the fully charged slide charge, but it's not enough. Is he as good makes it back? Oh my I gosh. does make it back, but. Oh my gosh. Absolutely brutal start here from Tier. And Ish just hasn't been able and to hang just... on to a weapon the whole time. The map control from Team Red has been absolutely huge. <laughs> that was so so good. Pi throwing the team. Oh my gosh, wow. Pi is good. good. All right, bringing it back. Nice with, signature uh, right there. Queen nice signature. Nicely done from him. Just getting punished a little bit. But if, you know, if they're able to find another knockout here, they are in the lead. Wow. Uh, the mine somehow slips. <laughs> oh, the long green <laughs> bomb just bouncing towards. <laughs> You know, I think That's if you play that clip slowly, you can see part of Queen Knight's soul die in the seconds <laughs> leading up to that. Oh, no, not the down heavy. It no. is five to four right now. <laughs> Team Red up by one stock. PKPR oh, hanging man. on to his life, doing all the damage that he can on Terrace, but this oh. could finish it out. Pi is good, trying to chase him down. PKP makes it back in with a minor punish there. He's good, trying to finish off. Whoa! Explosive oh, knockout ex right and there. That was an accident. That must have been his mind. Oh, wow. Not good for blue team. It is 5 to 3 right now. PKPR still on his first life over there on Taros as Pi is good. Falls to his doom down the center of the map. <laughs> oh, PKPR nice. PKPR finally there. finished off Ish. by Ish. Yeah, good play there. Utilizing the recovery on the hammer. 
Nice oh. coordination right there from Remorse at PKPR to just cover Ooh. that full zone. Brandon Taros looking really strong. If trying to edge guard. He's he goes through the slide oh, wow. charge. Wow, he does get it. It's not quite enough for a knockout, though. Oh, oh the weapon whoa. toss actually the makes weapon toss clips him. There's the hit oh, wow. for to right. close out Bryn's life. It's now 3 to 2. Pi is good, two meanwhile, has been taking a lot of damage. It has been. PKPR definitely laying down the hurt with Taros this round. Definitely. And you know, it's up to Ish and Pi to close out this match, otherwise, the set's done. Watch Locked. out for that signature. Oh, he's getting punished. He's well, getting PKPR punished hard for being. Point, but Ish just isn't oh, able to no. come back. And oh. Team Red closes it out with KOs on opposite sides of the map. Wow. At the same moment. That was crazy. Tier, and that, with that being said, Tier will take the set. Tier does take the set. Congratulations to Tier. You know, they had some tough matchups in the past, but they came out incredibly convincing here against Wolf. Yeah. To take that, uh, to take that match. Another 2-0 coming in. Oh, and apparently, it's not Duck. It is Duke. Are we? Are we just the, learning this? The 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 wolf. It's totally Duke. Player. I knew that. Duke Duck. <laughs> In future tournaments, we're going to have everyone send me phonetic <gasps> pronunciations <laughs> of their name, Spelling. so I can learn all the names <laughs> the night before. I will practice them. I will read them. Aloud, you guys know me. You know how much I care about pronunciation. Oh man! All right, guys, it looks up. It looks like the next and final match during the round robin is going to be top seeds and current top placed Boo versus JV4. All right. So we are going to be seeing. Will, this will be a nice, nice match. We are going to be seeing them come up next. I know everybody's super hype, and if you're not super hype, you should be. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy match. <laughs> It's going to be really good. They are finishing up their current matches right now, but yep. we should have them joining us in just a few minutes. All right. Oh, man. I'm going to use this opportunity to go restock on water. Yeah. If I can slide my auxiliary console out of here. <laughs> if we can somehow find a way out of this Is cockpit. <laughs> Really looking forward to this next match. You know, it's entirely possible that these two teams are going to be uh, going off in the finals against each other. So it's interesting that they get a little, a little set against each other before it comes down to who gets first place, basically. To your underdog hype, yeah, I know remorse. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we've plugged in the uh, exclamation part, uh, exclamation point hype. Uh, command just yet to the tell us tell us a joke hmm oh got more water yes well you know uh yeah boo has uh some really great teams we'll see uh them bring out I, i'm sure exo and photo are going to be playing on the same team uh in one of these matches for sure yeah, JV4 versus Boo, that's going to be, we saw Pugsy and part of the Creed. Wait, no. What? Pugsy's what? on Ren now. <laughs> oh my goodness, the confusion. <laughs> I do you know who all the Boo members are, though. You leave for 10 seconds and your brain's just scrambled. Just, <laughs> I, I leave, I'm like, I'm feeling a little dehydrated. <laughs> Wait, the knowledge is back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, JV4 versus Boo should be incredibly hyped. These are guys who not only um, have been around for a very long time, but they're all very familiar with fighting against one another on the ladder. Yeah, um, totally. You know, the way that um, with being in closed beta and having a bit of a smaller population, um, it means that at higher tiers, you just end up, you fight a lot of the same people over and over again. Right, right. And so, you know, these guys are going to be incredibly familiar with how the other team plays. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of friendships, there's a lot of rivalries that go on between the two of them, and so it's going to be uh, awesome to see. I'm really excited about this match. And it's probably going to be a bit of a foreshadowing of what we're going to end up seeing in the top four. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Oh, 
Oh man. I feel like, you know, somebody was saying earlier that the amount of viewers that we have was going down, and I'm like, it's because they all came and got beta keys, and now they're playing. Like, <laughs> and, the, and they're happy. <laughs> this was the completely intentional yes! side effect of this. It was like, we're going to give away beta keys. People will not be watching. <laughs> they will be playing the game. This is okay. <laughs> we, we, we are all right with this. Yeah. If you love the VOD, watching the tournaments is... and cheering people on, awesome. If you want to go play the game, awesome. The VOD will be up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure if you haven't you haven't heard of us yet, you wanna you wanna try out the game before you watch some oh, high level tournament play. Yeah, you know, it is just one of those things. Like I always enjoy, I always like seeing tournaments, especially for a game that I've never played before, because it always gives me like a point of reference of like, oh, this is what this is what right looks this like. This is what it, it's is, supposed to look like. Let, let's this think, is how it's meant let's to work. find out you know, how it looks when I play. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's like, that's how I've always done it. It's like, oh, new competitive game. All right, let's go watch a tournament. <laughs> okay, I will just do yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> I, I don't do that right now, but that's actually uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. At least it's, find, like, a couple of high-level matches. That makes it's sense. It's just, you know, it's challenging, like, with, with all the early access stuff now and things. You know, not everybody is lucky enough. We are to have, like, a community that throws together tournaments. <laughs> that Sometimes that takes a little bit longer. Yeah. But, it is becoming more and more common, thanks to things like, you know, Twitch TV, which is totally yep, awesome. Totally. Um, you know, there's so much easier now to actually just, like, watch tournaments. And yeah, there are yeah, so yeah. many tournaments going on this weekend right now as well, and it's happening all over the world, and it's just, it's something that I just love about how online video games have evolved. Yeah, yeah, and it'll, it'll only get more saturated as time goes on. That's so good. So good. All right, guys. Well, we again, um, we are on the last round of the round robin phase here in the two v two clan battle tournament. We're going to be seeing top seeds and the top placing JV four versus Boo coming up here shortly. Pokey person asks, "Hey, when the double elimination starts, will everyone be in the top bracket, or will uh, there will be two in the winners and others in the losers? I believe they will all be in the top bracket. Yep, it's going to start bracket. off with everyone in the top bracket, and then the losers of the first move, match move the will move bracket, to the losers right. bracket, and then the winner of that match will fight the losers of the winners bracket pre-finals." Right, right, right. Something. <laughs> One of those things. words. You know, Challenge decides to like call it something different every time. <laughs> so, it's always fun. Alright, looks like we have every single member of Boo now in the channel. Shadow Lords, Magabob, Kayla, Exo, Tybo, and Foda. All representing the scary ghosts. Sc spooky. Aptly titled after, uh, you know, seeing as Halloween's coming up soon. <laughs> Very exciting, and they're going to be squaring off against JV4, who I believe is still in their fight versus Ren. This match uh, bodes to be very crazy. I am pretty hyped for this. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> it's going to be scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many ghosts in There's chat. so many ghosts. So in many chat. ghosts. Oh man. So let us know, guys. Who are who 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 are you cheering for? Is it Boo or is it JV4? Ooh. You know, just yeah, let us know. Chat. I like you, it. you gotta give these guys your energy. This is round <laughs> seven, man. They have already played. Yeah, six they've been playing for a sets. while. You know, it's been two straight hours of Brawlhalla without a break. So, <laughs> you know, this is gonna be some reckless, crazy, two v two nonsense. <laughs> JV four, a lot of JV four love coming out. <laughs> Oh man, JV4, cheering for Void. JV4 right. definitely. Um, it's it's funny because I think Boo has more streamers. No, yes, I think Boo has more streamers. JV4 has more chat moderators spread across <laughs> the streamers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but both of these both of these teams definitely huge participants on uh, the Twitch community. And you know that's another thing. Like if you guys are checking out the game for the first time and you like it. You know, don't forget to check out all the great people who uh, stream Brawlhalla. We have a bunch of the top players that you're seeing today do run their own streams, right. and it is definitely awesome to go and meet that part of the community because our Twitch guys and the community we have on Reddit, they're with, with a lot of crossover between the two, but like the Twitch community is just fantastic. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Looks like we've got more ghosts. We've got a lot of cheering for JV4 and Boo. And a couple of go photos. 
I am only cheering for Foda for the Foda coins. <laughs> Uh, and if you don't know what photo coins are, you just have to go watch the stream sometime. <laughs> you just gotta do it. It's a, it's a pretty elaborate game set up. Oh, yes, man. in this chat. Looks like we're getting started. JV4 has arrived. Ooh. IDK, I'm new. Uh, type in exclamation point beta key. We have a bot that will give you a beta key. Oh man, this is gonna be an exciting matchup right now. Egg soup and Z Zombie in there first. Don't know who Boo is going to send in this time. I'm really excited to see uh, to see if Boo is going to be sending in Kayla, and I haven't seen uh, Taibo play in quite a while either. Mm. I think he's been busy with school or something. <laughs> something you know, something sure. important like school. <laughs> um, and so uh, I'm hoping to be able to see them play today. We saw Taibo play with Shadow Lords in the first match of the stream. Um, yep. Which was incredibly fun to watch. Shadow Lords was on Hattori. Which right, right, was right. A Crazy pick Atori, that he Atori made work an interesting well. pick in two v two. I feel like it, it either works out like crazy good or crazy yeah. bad. I really, <laughs> you know, it's funny because Hatori is one of the most popular characters in low ranks. And Very then much so. Like big dip, like as you go, so. as you go up. Yeah. And I feel like to make Hatori work in high tier, like you really have to play your mind out. Like I think it definitely is one of those characters that like. You definitely want to practice this character a lot because yeah. it's so risky. Everything that you do is risky, and so you have to calculate everything. Whereas, like you know, uh, Barraza, for example, you can take a hit. You Just know, like you hit me, but I don't care. <laughs> but, I've got uh, an axe. The point being is that he's more <laughs> well-rounded in that re uh, respect. It, it's not like all chips in on every single movement that you yeah. do, which it, is it's very much bit, how a Tori it, plays. It's a little bit easier to rely on armor as opposed to movement speed. You yeah. know, like you really have to have great positioning and control yes. of your character. Well, just good knowledge of the game and yeah. knowledge of your opponent. Like if you're able to read your opponent, that the extra move speed is just so nice. Oh man. Everybody listen to Milo2391 in chat as he's shouting out all the awesome streamers from these two respective clans. Oh man, Egg Soup and Z Zombie representing JV4. They're already locked in. Uh, looks like they are going to have to do some team color swaps. Probably remind them about that. And Boo is going to be picking out the map and who they are sending in. I'm going to check my logistics console over here. Man, shout outs to White Sheepy for going through all the logistics in the background, making sure that we're getting matches on the regular. This is round seven. Crush 999, every time you try to signature with Hattori, you need to pull out your calculator and do some math. If only there was time. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, can we just pause for a minute? I need to. <laughs> I need to do some quick to, trigonometry. I to, <laughs> if I'm moving at four pixels I don't know. oh man all right guys well we are in it this is boo versus jv4 jv4 right. on team red boo on team blue here in thunderguard stadium all right it looks like uh boo does bring out magma bob and foda and uh egg soup and z zombie going to be playing for red, uh, red team here and magma do some great unarmed work on the egg soup over there on the left side egg soup trying to juggle but not able to find it magma bob gets back down to the stage trying to switch targets Egg Soup taking a bit more damage than our other players. He is currently in the uh, deep orange. Oh, nice signature find from him right there. Tossing Magbob off the side of the Ooh. stage. Lands the side air. Can he follow up? No. Oh, oh but his teammate man. does. Z Zombie there finds you go. the knockout on the Magbob as he's all out of options. Good awareness there from Z Zombie, realizing that uh, that member was going to have to use all of their resources to make it back. He would not be able to avoid that. Another knockout coming out there. And Z Zombie Evening up the score. really good right now. Score is evened up. Foda and Z Zombie both still have their first stock. Watch out for that mine. It is in a very uh, peculiar spot there on the side. Let's see That's if that comes into you. Foda finds wow. the knockout. Still alive. It's now five to four. Five Boo to four up one stock. Up oh, until that evens it out. Magmabob down to his last. Wow, stop. yeah, Foda's still uh, at his first stock, but Magmabob down to one. You know, and this is something that's not uncommon for Foda, as he does get knocked out from the hit from Z Zombie. Right. Foda definitely one of the players who's got a very optimized playstyle, incredibly good at staying alive. Yeah, Red Sea currently in the lead here. Magma 
Bob doing some good damage. Trying to pressure a Z Zombie. Egg Suit, meanwhile, is taking quite a bit of damage. He's down in the red. Gets oh, the bomb, and he, he goes does get flying. taken out. Wow. I was right. just about to say, if he's able to stay alive for much longer, it is Red Team is going to be a nice All evened lead, up right now. Yes. 3-3 three to three with Z-Zombie just Z -Zombie. down. Egg Soup orange. hitting his teammate there with the throw I don't, I don't think that's where he wanted that one to go. Oh no, Egg Soup just having all these hits on this teammate. No, oh, no double go juggle Whoa! from Team Blue. This totally knocks Z-Zombie out. I think out. both of those hit. <laughs> that was crazy. And great coordination right there, keeping up the pressure. Magma Bob, however, is in the red. If they can knock him out here, it's going to be 2v1, and that's oh, not going to be wow, easy. Oh, there they it goes. It. All right, it's up to Foda to 2v1 this. Foda's got two stocks, but two he's stock, down in the red. Two players to take out. One knockout It all here. comes down to not being taken out so early here. And he oh, does man, get the taken out. All right. Team Red right there. Foda. No, Foda it's still not, yeah, it's, has it's a not chance impossible. of turning this around. Oh, photo snaking the item drop there. Egg Soup not quite able to prevent that from happening. And oh, Red Team expanding the... out. They're going for the black ult. No, they don't. They don't get the setup. Photo won't let them. Photo knows how important it is for him to dodge that because that will be almost certain death. Photo messing up his jumps there a little bit. Doesn't get that item drop that he wanted to pick up. Watch out for this bomb. Egg Soup is going to charge it up. And he's going to conserve that resource. He's not going to waste it. But then he does throw it. Photo is still alive, but he's unarmed oh. right now. Foda, there comes the mind throw. Does miss. Oh, and the red team has not been able to find a solid hit on him so far in this last stock. Foda just doing a really good job of avoiding everything, but with Team Red holding down the map control, he needs Foda to find... isn't going to be able to get a oh, weapon. He went... <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, no! See zombie no! <laughs> the, this the is pressure. just what we were talking the about. The pressure! Oh, it's coming down to it, Foda. Needs to find a weapon here. Z Zombie does not want to let this be the reason that they lose the first match of the set. Man, the Z Zombie trying has, a little interesting throw there. Doesn't has the spear a spear weapon he has been on for so long. Oh he knows he gosh. just needs one good hit. Z Zombie looking for this knockout so hard. And oh, the he middle does the, the walls! Again. The walls! Foda is so low right now. Even the dive kick sends him so far, and he does land the spike ball hit. The bomb is. The bomb does not land. Oh, but there's the side, side air. Foda. He's gonna try to can pressure he, him up. Can he find the, the knockout? Oh, the upper oh, the upper not, not quite He's up. Up. An X. Oh my gosh, this is so close. Both players are so far in the red. And there goes the grab out. Set up. Z Zombie. Z Zombie takes it. it. Oh my gosh. Oh man, pressure from the last. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my gosh. The last stock right there. <laughs> it came down to it. Down to the wire. Says, No, I'm not going to be the reason that my team is taken down right now and takes the set. JV or the match, rather. Taking it in game oh, one wow. against Boo with some incredible play right there. <laughs> Both players just trying to eke was... out the victory. Foda doing an incredibly good job in a 2v1 situation. Yeah, seriously, there it Z goes. Zombie not willing to let go. Does not let, let go of that match, but Foda, yeah, if Foda. And nice that, effort. And I mean, that's a great, great way to finish as well. Those weapon setup edge guards are so difficult to recover against. And, you know, Z Zombie just timed it incredibly well, and Foda ran out of options. Really did. All right, so here we go with the next set. It looks like we've got Stardust and Stevenator for JV4. Exo and Tybo coming in for Boo. This is going to be really interesting. Both of these, all, right. all of these so players. Varteros locked in. I believe all of these players have been top 10 players for a very long time. Uh, Stardust a little bit more on the EU servers as opposed to uh, the US servers where right. today's games are taking place. But um, definitely one of the better players. And when we did our uh, our like prep tournament last week, we saw his Taros coming out, Yeah, which was uh, frightening. <laughs> he actually got put in a lot of 2v1 situations and... Yeah, yeah came out on top repeatedly <laughs> so all right it looks like we will be having a mirror match here bodvar and Teros versus bodvar and Teros. uh boo versus jv4 yeah but it's because of these teams part of the reason why Teros and bodvar are so popular in 2v2 uh right now it's just because of the performance we've seen from exactly these teams so right. we'll see how this works out here in match number two boo has to get a win here otherwise they are gonna be uh, losing the set. 
starting off with good damage right now. Exo driving both players on Team Red to the edge of the stage. Once again, that middle ground setup coming up. Oh, oh Exo finds the side signature punish. And he goes for the grab so close to hitting that too. He's trying to guard that weapon oh, spawn there. Oh, for this bomb there. It goes through. Let's not find the target. Exo going, going for the, like, the fully charged signatures a lot this match. Paid off the once, but... Yeah, we'll see if he's able to land one again right now. Team Blue is up by a stock. Is that my made the edge guard over there on the left a little scary? Stevenator searching for those juggle knockouts. Does find the BNB &B, though. Exo finds uh, the axe that he's looking for. To just throw it in an attempt oh, to edge guard. Stevenator closes off Tybo's first life. It's so now evened up at 5-5, five to five, but... Meanwhile, Exo has not been able to take out Stardust. Stardust has taken a lot of damage though. Stevenator still on his first stock, putting down good damage onto Taibo, making it worth oh. it. Turns and finds the signature onto Exo. A little bit of a misread there. He does land the bread. Oh my gosh! What was that? Stevenator fighting on two different fronts and somehow also managing to land a team combo. Huge, that was absolutely huge insane. Play right there. Oh my gosh. Somebody give us a shot. Stevenator, yes, seriously. Literally throwing an attack out on one front, turning around to finish off the other member, and then turning around again. That's crazy. This is looking incredibly difficult. Two for different Blue fights. Right now. Two Stevenator different fights. And Stardust is coming out huge. Stevenator. Oh it's my now a gosh. Team to one right now. Team Red up two stocks, and Exo has to fight out against four whole stocks on Team Red all by himself. Oh my gosh. Just an incredible, incredible oh. performance. Stevenator spawns Even immediately to continue up. the combo. Oh my gosh, Exo. And not quite. Oh, oh and, and Exo a makes a big yes, mistake he does make down a mistake. there on the edge. Exo does love to be incredibly aggressive on the edge right there, but this time he comes. Oh, oh here goes, goes, goes the black hole! Oh, he does escape it. Oh, they drop it, but oh it shouldn't gosh. matter. This is huge damage Yeah, that is a Exo. lot of damage, and here comes the follow-up. Exo does make it back, and but no, there oh, he goes. He man. does get taken out. Don't and that is how down. powerful the black hole combos are in the final stages of games. Oh, my gosh. Maybe four taking it 2-0 against originally top-seeded Boo <sighs> in the last match. Oh, my gosh. Match. Of that was this round brutal. robin. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was an incredibly aggressive and inc just unprecedented performance from Jamie yeah. before. Wow. Stevenator. Absolutely incredible game there. Five knockouts, one uh, one fall. Whew. Ooh. Oh man. Well. That concludes the round robin portion <laughs> of, of phase, the series. Phase one is complete. Everyone go get your defibrillators in, in case yes. you're gripping as much as we are. All right, so. Oh my gosh. What's gonna happen next is we're gonna be going on a short break here really quickly. I'm gonna be uh, just reminding everybody here in the tournament about it and what's gonna be happening when we come back. When we come back, uh, the top four teams from uh, the first phase of this tournament are gonna be uh, battling it out. In our second phase, double elimination, every uh, team will start in the winner's bracket. And uh, yeah, we'll be casting each of those matches. And that'll, that'll, be, that'll be so hype. Looking forward to it. Yep, the, uh, there are some other contestants right now finishing up their last match. So All the right. brackets will still be keeping... Uh, continuing to get updated, right. but for now, if you guys need to go take a break, stretch, order a pizza, you know, whatever you got to <laughs> go do. Go get seven but more bottles of water. When like we, us. <laughs> yeah, seven more bottles, seven more bottles of water. So once all that happens, we are going to be back with the top four matches. Thanks everybody for coming out so far. In the meantime, go tell all your friends, you know, hit up social media, yeah. all that good stuff, and drag people into the stream because when we get back, it's going to be top four double elimination, and we're going to see just who comes out on top for this tournament. Yeah, we'll be right back, guys.